We've reached one of the biggest nights on the calendar every year, no matter what sport it is, football, basketball, softball, baseball, it does not matter, as we honor the 2018-2019 senior basketball players. Good evening, everybody. Welcome to 2019 Senior Night here for Tishomingo County High School's basketball programs. Blake Long joined by Randall Lindsay on the camera. We've got basketball action for you this evening. Senior Night festivities between games is what we understand, and tonight, It'll be the Tishomingo County Braves and Lady Braves hosting Hickory Flat, making the trip over uh, from just a bit west of New Albany. Again, the Hickory Flat Rebels, the opponent this evening for Tishomingo County. And uh, we're waiting the Lady Braves coming on the court about 10 minutes away from tip-off of our varsity girls game. And thank you again for being with us this evening on WRMG TV 12 TV 97. We are your home for Tishomingo County Sports. Don't forget, this evening... Of course, our live coverage includes audio on WRMGRadio.com at the TCHS Sports link. And, of course, uh, that's where you can keep up with your Braves and Lady Braves throughout postseason play, which begins one week from tonight. This, of course, is your Tuesday, February the 5th, one week from tonight. It's Tuesday, February the 12th. It'll be the start of the Division One 4A tournament right here in this very building. Uh, I believe the brackets have been released, and we'll uh, catch you up on those uh, throughout tonight's broadcast. And, of course, uh, Two more regular season games for both teams after tonight. We'll also uh, go through that as well during our broadcast. But again, we're live this evening on WRMGRadio.com. And also a big thanks as well uh, to Miss Denise Ivy back in Control Central. We're also live uh, on TV 97 with live audio throughout Tishomingo County as well. Don't forget, we'll have a TV replay on TV 97. Also on our YouTube page, just search for Jack Ivy. And we do invite you to pur purchase a copy of today's games on DVD. This will be a great keepsake, of course, with it being senior night. We'll have that exclusive coverage for you coming up later during our broadcast this evening. And to get a copy of today's games on DVD, just contact Jack or Denise Ivy. Phone number 662-454-9797. Again, that phone number is 662-454-9797. We've got a lot of great sponsors bringing you today's broadcast, and they include John Dennis Darty. He's your Tishomingo County Sheriff. Thank you, El Picante Mexican Restaurant Number 1. Of course, they're open every day, 11 a.m. until 10 p.m. at 1727 West Whitman Street, 662-423-7224. 2, 4. Thank you, Parsons Earthworks Incorporated, for all your drainage systems, excavating, gravel, dirt, dozier work, and foundation work. Call Parsons Earthworks, 662-424-0159, 662-279-9809. Nunley Trucking Company on our broadcast. Of course, that's Herman and Darren Lindley, their entire staff, 662-424-0080. Today's game also brought to you by Gina McNatt, your Tishomingo County tax collector. Thank you to Milligan Ready Mix at Old 25 North in Iuka, 662-423-6238. Don't forget their landscaping rock, mulch, and curb stops as well. Harwell Parts at Deposit, your car was dealer in Iuka at 1102 West Whitman Street. Stop by on the chat and his staff. Take care of your parts at Supply Needs, 662-423-9892. Hometown Pizza is in Burnsville. 343 Highway 72 in the East Burnsville Shopping Plaza. Don't forget their pizza, pasta, cheese sticks, wings, and hoagies, and the salad bar as well. And, of course, they're open for a lunch buffet as well, Monday through Friday, 11 to 1. Sunday buffet from 11 to 2 p.m. For carryout orders, 662-360-4019. Good luck to the Braves this evening. From Randy Stringer, your chief of police for the city of Iuka, Tiffin Motor Homes of Red Bay, Belmont, and Iuka, featuring those great Allegro homes. Explore Liquidation in Belmont is your home for bargains. You can find mattresses at the lowest prices around. Also living room, bedroom, and dining room furniture, cool tools, cool gel pillows, and much more. You can take Highway 25 South to Dickinson Road. That's across from the Tiffins entrance in Belmont. The Tishomingo County Electric Power Association reminds you they are a member of TVAZ program. TVA would come and do an energy audit of your home. For more information, 662-423-3646. Piggly Wiggly of Iuka, Belmont and Red Bay, down home and down the street. Don't forget to select locations of Piggly Wiggly, Ace Hardware as well. Grace Long Real Estate can help you sell your home. See Grace and her staff, they'll work hard for you. 662-423-5555. H&R Block and Iuka Red Bay and Fulton is your tax professionals. Hey folks, remember if you've got a bush hog, mow or dig, to get it in at SIDS. That's right, SIDS Trading Company, two locations to serve you and Iuka at 6, 
uh, uh, pardon me, 617 Highway 72, and also the original location on Highway 25, just south of town. 662-205-6469 is the phone number for their new location on Highway 72. Don't forget among their products, Coyote tractors, Skag mowers, and of course, they're your local authorized Wishhawk Zero Turn Mower dealer as well. So this game also brought to you by Ronnie Cook and the Modern Woman of America to bless your financial future and also to learn about member benefits, get to know your Modern Woman representative. And he is Ronnie Cook, 662-423-8477. Give Ronnie a call and start the conversation. Well, this is uh, the uh, past the midway point now of this four-game homestand for Tishomingo County. This is senior night. This is the third of four games in that home stretch. Of course, uh, a makeup date. Mark this on your calendar Thursday. Uh, the Braves and Lady Braves will be right back in this very building for the final time during the regular season. It'll be Tishomingo County on Thursday, February 7th, hosting Biggersville. A nice little uh, local connection there from just over in Alcorn County. So Biggersville at Tishomingo County Thursday, and then the regular season will end on Friday as Tishomingo County will travel over to Morville in Lee County. So uh, make that notation. It'll be a, uh, a matchup of 4A teams, Morville in Division 2 4A. So it'll be Tishomingo County and Morville this Friday night to wrap up the regular season. And then, as we mentioned earlier, uh, one week from today, division tournament time on Tuesday, February the 12th. The division tournament all week long, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday will be held in this very gym. So please make plans to be here uh, for that amazing tournament. We're going to give you the bracket here in just a couple of seconds. And, uh, of course, uh, looking forward to the hospitality that Tishomingo County always shows um, all these outstanding uh, teams in our division. And this is the women's bracket. Your Lady Braves will play Tuesday at 7 p.m. They are the number three seed out of that division. And uh, again, 7 p.m. Tuesday against Corinth. So it'll be the cross-county rivals Corinth here next Tuesday, 7 p.m. And that'll be the third game of the day. First game next Tuesday will be a girls game between New Albany and by Helia. If the Lady Braves should win, they'll advance to play the number two seed. That is Cinetobia. And that will be next Thursday at 7 o'clock as well. On the guys' side of things, the Braves will be the three seed out of this division as well. And they will play on the opening night of the tournament. And they will have the final game of the day at 8.30 p.m. to Shemingo County playing Cenotopia. So that will be, again, the three versus six matchup to Shemingo County against Cenotopia. That will be Tuesday, 8.30 p.m. The first boys game will be at 5.30 p.m. New Albany against Corinth. And then if the Braves should win, they'll advance to an 8.30 p.m. game on Thursday against Stripley. Again, we'll give you that bracket multiple times during the broadcast and again uh, throughout the week as we broadcast Tishomingo County basketball for you as we get ready to wind down the regular season. Randall, hard to believe that we're down to the final week of the regular season. In fact, in Alabama, they're starting postseason play this week with area tournaments. Jack Ivey will have Red Bay's game in the area tournament later uh, this evening on uh, WRMG as well. Let's get ready for our national anthem this evening, brought to you by Jamie Stewart, your North Half Constable in Tishomingo County. Also by El Picante Mexican Restaurant Number 2, open every day 11 a.m. till 10 p.m. at 1103 Battleground Drive, 662-423-3708. Thank you, John's Garage and JNS Auto Sales, 482 Highway 365 South in Burnsville. Don't forget their 24-hour towing, ASE certified conditions on staff. They've been serving the Tristad area since 1985. Call today, 662-4278-2. 9-8, also online, johnsgarage.net. Thank you, National Anthem sponsor, IUK Discount and Drugs, Chris Cornelius and Kurt Butler, Lee Griffin, their entire staff, 662-423-9039. Also, Northeast Mississippi Community College, one of the top 25 community colleges in the entire nation. For information on Northeast, you can visit www.nemcc.edu. Also, IUK Animal Clinic, Dr. James Perkins and his staff at Highway 25 South, healthcare grooming and boarding for your pets, 662-423-3470. David Wade Crum, he's your Tishomingo County tax assessor and also sponsoring our national anthem, Mac Wallman, your Tishomingo County coroner, and Payne Cummings, your Tishomingo County chancery clerk. Thank you as well, Carly Carmen, attorney at Law 1723, West Whitman Street, Nyuka. Call today, 662-593-3079. Now, our national anthem.
beautiful rendition of our national anthem. I believe that's members of the choir here. The Brave Voices, a great job. Uh, very, very beautiful rendition. Now time for our starting lineup. It's brought to you by Spark CPA with six locations to serve you in Red Bay, Iuka, Muscle Shoals, Florence, Boonville, and Corinth. Thank you, State Farm Insurance Agent Boyce Hollingsworth at 214 East Equipment Street, Iuka. Full service insurance, auto, home, life, health, and retirement, 662-423-5931. All right, here we go. Starting lineup, Stickery Flat Lady Rebels, the Tishomingo County Lady Braves. your starting lineups here from the campus of Tishomingo County High School. As the lights come back on, we'll give you the starters one more time. First for Hickory Flat, the Lady Rebels under the direction of head coach Brent Cool. Here's his starting five. It'll be a senior guard, number five, Laney Teal. A junior forward, number two, Ardassity Harris, and she's the young lady to keep an eye on here this evening. Harris is by and far their top recruit. She'll play collegiately in the future. Also for Hickory Flat, a senior forward, number 21, Marissa Simmons. Another Simmons, a senior guard, number 23, Marie Simmons. And also a sophomore center, number 33, Jenna Poff. That's the starting lineup for the Lady Rebels. Now for your Tishomingo County Lady Race, five seniors in the starting five on senior night, and here they are. Senior number 11, Robin McMillan. Senior number 12, Christian Bobo. Senior number 13, Megan Perkins. Senior number 14, Mackenzie Gray. And senior number 24, Morgan Perkins. That's how head coach Brian Middleton will start this evening on senior night. Hickory Flat in their road navy tops. Navy tops, white trimming on the side, red numerals on the front and the back, red lettering on the front that says Lady Rebels. Tishman McKenna will give you their uniform here in just a moment. We've got our signals from our officiating crew, and here we go. Time for opening tip-off. It's in the air, and it is controlled by Tishomingo County, and we are underway. By the way, the Lady Braves are in their home grays. Gray tops, gray shorts, a three from McKin uh, pardon me, uh, off the hand of Robin Williams. No good. Rebound out of bounds. Tickery flat basketball. Again, Tishomingo County in their home grays. Gray tops, gray shorts, blue trimming down the side, blue numerals on the front and the back, blue riding that says Braves on the front of the jersey. Now Hickory flat ahead into the front court quickly, and now an errant pass from number 33, Jenna Poff. So we've got a turnover on Hickory Flat, Tishomingo County ball. Opening tip off this evening brought to you by Gantlin's Pharmacy. See the pharmacist you know and trust Stanley Page. See if he can save you money at Gantlin's Pharmacy or Healthmark Pharmacy in downtown Tishomingo, 662-438-6605. Morgan Perkins with a basketball now over to McKenzie Gray, the senior lineup on the floor right now, Christian Bubba. Haven't seen all seniors on the lineup often. Perkins for three and a good. Morgan Perkins, the first points of the game for the Lady Braves. Now good pressure from Tishomingo County on the inbounds play. Hickory Flat does get it in, but they're going to have to avoid a 10 count. Great defense here now, trying to get it across the time stripe, and they will just in time. That's Marie Simmons with the basketball. She drives inside her shot, blocks, and saved in. Great play. I think that was Simmons that got her own rebound. Now here's Laney Teal. Now back to number 21. That's Marissa Simmons. Now jumper from Ardastony Harris. It's in and good. She can score, and she can score in bunches. She's got the first points for Hickory Flat, Tishomingo County up 3-2. to two. We are a minute and 15 seconds into this basketball contest. Denisa Ivey checking in, saying we're sounding good back in Control Central. Thank you, Ms. Denisa. Lady Braves with offensive possessions. We were saying on the last possession, not often we've seen five seniors on the floor. A great mix of uh, youth and experience for Brian Middleton this year. Of course, the two freshmen, Madison Bennett and also Clara Garland, have seen good playing time. Uh, and then we'll also see juniors mixed in as well, such as Campbell Holly and Briley Hill. First free throw for Christian Bobo in and good, by the way. Bobo was fouled by Ardastony Harris. Her first, 
the first whistle against either team. Lady Braves now up 4-2. to two. Here comes the second free throw from Christian Bobo. It's up, and it is true as well. Bobo's first points of the game. Tishomingo County 5, Hickory Flat 2, 6.28 to go in the opening period of play. Senior Nights 2019 on WRMG TV 12, TV 97. Of course, exclusive coverage of those Senior Night festivities coming up as Megan Perkins gets the steal for the Lady Braves. Quickly into the hands of Robin McMillan. Now Morgan Perkins with the left hand. Quickly to Mackenzie Gray. She gets cut off. Back, though, to Megan Perkins. She takes one dribble, picks up it, goes back to her sister, Morgan Perkins, who will drive inside, and she will travel with the basketball turnover on Tishomingo County. Thank you, MTS. That's formerly Mississippi Tool Supplies, safety apparel, vests, T-shirts, safety glasses, and earplugs. Made and sold in Belmont, 1-800-647-8168. Now Lady Rebels again, pressure giving them trouble, but they've gotten into the front court successfully all the time on Ardestiny Harris. That one's too easy for her on the fast break. Ardestiny Harris collects her fourth point of the contest, and she makes it now a five to four ball game. Tishomingo County still has led for the first nearly two and a half minutes. Slowly into the front court goes Morgan Perkins. She dishes it off to Robin McMillan. McMillan, a couple of dribbles, she picks it up. Now back to Morgan Perkins. Morgan wears jersey number 24, Megan. Where's jersey number 13 there? She's in the middle of that screen, and Perkins will go to the right off of Bobo. Gets it to her sister, Megan Perkins, who'll drive with the left hand. And now it's stolen away. Ardastony Harris, there she is again. Going to the offensive end. Shot is up. No good, too strong. Rebound Morgan Perkins of Tishomingo County. Here comes Perkins. It's one on four. She's still trying to go to the hooper. Shot up. Too strong. Rebound Bobo offensively. She's fouled. Two free throws coming up for Tishomingo County. The foul will go against Ticker Flats, number 33, Jenna Poff. Her first, team second. Bubba's already two for two at the free throw line. She's got two more coming right now. Here comes the first. It's up, and it is true. Three points now for Bubba. Today's game brought to you by B&J Supermarket in Burnsville, Highway 365 South. They're open seven days a week. Your hometown store, the price is low 52 weeks out of every year. Second free throw is true as well. Bubba's got four on the free throw line. Timeout, Hickory Flat. Looks like this will be a 30-second timeout. We'll take it with them with 5.03 to go in the first period. Your score, Tishomingo County 7, Lady Rebels of Hickory Flat 4. This timeout on the floor brought to you by Hometown Pizza in Iuka. 621 Battleground Drive. But don't forget that 20-inch party pizza. Their hours, Saturday through Wednesday, 3 to 9 p.m. Thursday and Friday, 11 a.m. to 9 p.m. Closed on Mondays. This is a carryout location only. Phone number 662-593. 3036. Big thanks as well to Triple D's Bucket Service. That's Barney, Brandon, and Dustin Dick. And they can handle your high reach needs, including trimming and removing trees. Also, debris removal and stump grinding. Cleaning church steeples as well. 662-279-7500. We remind you that IU Commodium Company has the highest quality at a reasonable price. 662-423-3203. Back to it now. Here comes Hickory Flat on the offensive end. Quickly to the point guard, Marie Simmons to the bucket. Her shot short. Ardestiny Harris with the offensive rebound, but she's fouled. Two free throws coming for Hickory Flat in the foul against the Lady Braves, number 13. That's Megan Perkins. Her first, that's the first foul against Tishomingo County as well. It happens at the 455 mark of the opening period. Harris at the free throw line shooting two. Her first free throw attempts of the game. First one is no good off the back iron. We remind you, Burnsville Tires, the home of round tires and square deals. Drivers like you have a light on them for auto repairs and more since 1988, and you should too. Second free throw for Destiny Harris. In and good. She's got all five of Hickory Flats points in one position game still. Seven to five, Lady Braves. Brogan Perkins now on the offensive end. She'll drive inside. Her shot blocked from behind. It will go out of bounds. It'll be Tishomingo County basketball with a block for Hickory Flats. That was Marissa Simmons, number 21. John Dennis Starty, your Tishomingo County Sheriff, sponsoring today's basketball con- uh, contests. Now Megan Perkins, her shot stripped. It's going to be a turnover. Stealing, uh, or stolen away by Laney Teal, number five. Looks like the strip happened before the shot. Now a jumper on Hickory Flats offensive end. No good from Jenna Poff. Rebound Christian Bubbo of the Lady Braves. Lady Braves have maintained the lead throughout the first four minutes plus or so of this game. Uh, but have not led, I believe, by more than four points, if that. It's been a majority of one possession game. Bobo looked for McMillan inside, and now will go into McKenzie Gray, but the pass is batted out of bounds. We're going to stay right here with Tishomingo County. Good defense from Hickory Flats, Laney Teal. Thank you 
El Picante Mexican Restaurant number one at 1727 West Whitman Street in Iuka, 662-423-7224. Here's McMillan off the inbounds play for three, no good. Rebound defensively to Hickory Flats' Marissa Simmons. Now quickly, here's uh, Marie Simmons, her shot up. We've got a whistle and an offensive foul. The foul will go against Hickory Flat number 23, Marie Simmons. The point guard picks up her first, team third. Coach Brent Cool from Hickory Flat did not like the call, but it was a good charge taken there. I believe it was Megan Perkins that took the charge for Tishomingo County. Still with an all-senior lineup, no subs in the game for either team so far. Here's Megan Perkins. Back to McMillan, now to Christian Bobo. She'll drive inside with a couple of dribbles back out to McMillan. She'll try to do the same ball, stripped away, stolen away by Laney Teal of Hickory Flat. Now on the fast break, Hickory Flat trying to tie the game. Short little floater is any good, they'll do just that. Marissa Simmons off the assist from Ardastony Harris. And folks, we're tied up, seven apiece, 325 to go in the opening quarter. Morgan Perkins with a basketball. This Hickory Flat team is good. They've got well over 15 wins on the season. Megan Perkins with the pass now for Tishomingo County over to McKenzie Gray. Now back to Morgan Perkins for three. No good off the iron. Rebound, still loose, picked up by Hickory Flat. Now we have a jump ball. Marissa Simmons got the rebound. Possession arrow will also give it to Hickory Flat. Five new subs in the ball game as the seniors will exit. And here comes the uh, youth movement, if you want to call it that, a mix of juniors and uh, a freshman in there as well. Here's 23, Briley Hill, a junior. And now, wow, all the way down. We'll get you the rest on the floor in a moment. But Harris misses the layup. What a great play, though, by Hickory Flat at the inbounds. 30, Katie Powers is a junior as well. Again, Campbell Holly also in the lineup. She is a junior. Mara Nunley is a sophomore. And then Madison Bennett is a freshman. Holly gets an offensive rebound. She's fouled two free throws coming for the Lady Braves. So on the floor right now, after they started with uh, with th all five seniors, it'll be three juniors, a sophomore, and a freshman. The foul against Tickery Flat, number 33, Jenna Poff. That's her second team, fourth. This is Campbell Holly shooting two. She makes the first. Lady Braves, five for five at the charity stripes so far, and I surely probably just jinxed them. 25 checking in for Hickory Flats. It's Hannah Mason, a senior guard, standing at five foot zero inches tall, according to our roster provided to us. Here's the second free throw in. There. I guess I'm uh, not a jinx after all. Holly makes both six for six at the free throw line. Are the Tishomingo County Lady Braves in the foul now as pressure was applied? And I uh, think they're going to get Mara Nunley with a foul. And uh, for Nunley, that's her first. Team second. Lady Rebels inbounds play, batted out. Oh, that should be Lady Brave basketball. The pass was batted out of bounds by Bradley Hill and the inbounder, number 21, Marissa Simmons, caught it. That should have been Tishomingo County basketball, but instead we play on with Hickory Flat having possession. But it's stolen away. The ball does not lie. And Madison Bennett gets the steal for the Lady Braves. Now Campbell Holly chases down an errant pass. Back to Bennett now. Lady Braves will run their offense with 2.26 to go in the opening period. Now here's Katie Powers. She's fouled. Two free throws coming. Let's see, this will be the fifth team foul on Hickory Flat. 2.20 to go in the opening period as Katie Powers will go to the charity stripe. This one charged, by the way, to number 25, Hannah Mason, who just checked in the ball game. Her first, Powers looking for her first points of this game. First free throw is up and good. Seven in a row for the Lady Braves. Ten, uh, ten points total for Tishomingo County. Seven have them at the free throw line. Second free throw, no good, and I did end up jinxing the Lady Braves. Rebound to Hannah Mason for Hickory Flat. Lady Rebels not patient at all in the offensive end. They move quickly. Now pass back out to Ardastony Harris. Thought about it three momentarily, and she'll start her dribble. Now bounce pass ahead. Mason, I believe, with the basketball indeed. Hannah Mason now to Ardastony Harris. Back to Hannah Mason. She'll try to drive, go back to Simmons for three. It's in and good. We're tied again. Number 23, Marie Simmons. First three-point basket of the game for Hickory Flat. We're all knotted up at 10 apiece, 146 to go in the first period of play. Nora Nunley over to Browley Hill. Hill takes a dribble, nearly stolen away, and uh, it'll go out of bounds. Last touched by Tishomingo County. They're going to say Powers kicked it out of bounds with her knee. I thought our Destiny Harris may have been the last player to touch it, but they're going to say it was last touched by Powers. So a turnover on the Lady Braves nonetheless. It'll be Hickory Flat basketball. They've got a chance to take the lead for the first time in this game. Ardastony Harris 
will reset the offense through the hands of Hannah Mason. Mason to number five. That's Laney Teal for three. No good. Rebound, Bradley Hill to Shemingo County. One thing the Lady Rays have done well so far in this game has been rebounding. 1.13 to go. We're tied at 10 apiece. Powers over to Madison Bennett. She'll drive toward the hoop. Her shot is blocked, but there's a foul. Two free throws coming for Madison Bennett. Foul on Hickory Flat, charge to number 21. That's Marissa Simmons, her first. Team six, two free throws here. Number five, Madison Bennett. And guess what? Lady Braves have shot a lot of free throws so far, and they'll shoot more in the first quarter. On the next foul, the Lady Braves will be in the bonus as Bennett sinks her first charity stripe shot. It's in and good. Parsons Earthworks can handle all your drainage systems, excavating gravel, dirt, dozier work, and foundation work. 662-424-0159, 662-279. 9809. Bennett gets both free throws to fall. Lady Rays back ahead 12 to 10, but now that lead doesn't last very long. Marie Simmons, coast to coast, a fast break opportunity, and the game now tied once again 12 apiece, 53 seconds to go. Now, under a minute in our first quarter, is Bennett being guarded by Hickory Flat. Her shot poked out from behind, should stay here with Tishomingo County, and indeed it will. Nunley Truck Company on our broadcast. That's Herman and Darren Nunley, their entire staff, 662-424-0080. Also, thank you, Gina McNatt, your Tishomingo County tax collector. Nunley gets the inbounds play for Tishomingo County. Now over to Katie Powers. Powers will drive towards the hoop, then she'll pick up her dribble, and now a jump ball. Position arrow should stay here with Tishomingo County, and indeed it will. Buddy Braves catch a break there. 36.4 seconds to go in our opening period. We're tied at 12 apiece. Thank you, Milligan Ready. It's an old 25 North and Iuka with Pet Monument, Stepping Stones, and Military Stones as well. 662 423 6238. Nunley for three. No good. Rebound will go out of bounds. Nobody touches it. It's Hickory Flat basketball. Well, first time we got a chance to talk about it, but how about that Mara Nunley half court shot? Beyond half court shot against Belmont. By and far, the most memorable play of that double header. Of course, uh, Tucker Hills dunk also you can remember as well as there's a foul on the inbounds play. Charged to Briley Hill of Tishomingo County, her first, team third. But Mara Nunley made, making WTVA 9 News. Andy Lee caught a beautiful shot of it. It was shared many times on Facebook. Uh, certainly uh, went viral in our area as well. Now Briley Hill, beautiful play defensively. She gets a big steal. Lady Braves can hold for the final shot, or they can go for uh, a quick play if they get something open. Katie Powers now with the ball. She'll try a three. Bang! And in good. Lady Braves lead. Katie Powers. Her first field goal of the game, under 10 seconds now. Hickory Flats got to move quick, and now Bennett nearly steals the way, but our Destiny Harris saves it. Three, two, Harris will drive inside, and there's a foul, and they're going to call it on Campbell Holly with a blocking foul. The foul on the Lady Braves again on Campbell Holly. Her first, team fourth, 0.8 showing on the game clock. Time uh, for simply a quick shoot here for Hickory Flat. They trail 15-12. They got to shoot now, and that will that won't get a shot. No, that's the end of the first quarter of play. Your score: Hickory Flats trailing Tishomingo County 15 to 12. Good first quarter. Second quarter action right around the corner. On your home for the Braves and the Lady Braves, WRMG TV 12, TV 97. Again, we've got live audio, WRMGradio.com. Also on TV 97, thank you again, Miss Denisa Ivy back in Control Central getting us on. Don't forget TV replays on our YouTube page. Search for Jack Ivy also on TV 97. And don't forget you can purchase a copy of today's game on DVD, 662-454-9797. Again, I'm Blake Long, Randall Lindsay on the camera. We're 30 minutes into our broadcast coverage of Senior Night 2019 for Tishomingo County basketball. And all this action being brought to you by Harwell Parts and Supply. That's your CarQuest dealer and I, you at 1102 West Quitman Street. Stop by Lynn Chad and his staff. Take care of your parts and supply needs, 662-423-9892. Hometown Pizza in Burnsville, 343 Highway 72 in the East Burnsville Shopping Plaza. Don't forget they are home-owned, home-operated. Your hometown pizza for carry-out orders, you can call 662-360-4019. Randy Stringer is your chief of police for the city of Iuka. Thank you as well. Tiffin Motorhomes featuring those outstanding Allegro homes. Explore Liquidation in Belmont is your home for bargains. All merchandise from name and brand retailers, say 50 to 75% daily. And don't forget to check out their eBay store as well at Explore Liquidations Online. Back to the action now. Tishomingo County leading Hickory Flat 15 to 12. If you're just now tuning into our broadcast. Mason shot up for Hickory Flat. No good. She chases down. No thought she had her own rebound, but she falls to the ground. It's last touched by Hickory Flat. Tishomingo County basketball. Lady Braves will uh, have a mixed match now here to begin the quarter. Looks like actually the only change 
uh, is going to be Morgan Perkins reinserted into the ball game in place of Campbell Holly. So still on the floor uh, that was on the floor to end the first quarter was Madison Bennett, also Katie Powers, Briley Hill, and Mara Nunley as well. Here's Nunley. She'll try a deep three and no good off the iron rebound. Loose picked up by Ardastony Harris of Hickory Flat. Lady Braves won the first meeting of the year and an offensive foul taken by Briley Hill. No basket, the foul that should be on Ardastony Harris. Uh, but they called 30, I think. Not certain, there's not a 30 on the, on the uh, floor. We're gonna see what's put on the board. No, they're going to give the ball to Hickory Flat. Oh, my. He signaled offensive foul. I can't believe this. They're giving the ball to Hickory Flat. He signaled offensive foul with his hand signal. So the foul is going to go against Tishomingo County's Katie Powers, apparently. It was Briley Hill that took the charge, though. I don't know where they gave a foul to Katie Powers. But uh, I think that play was messed up uh, all the way around. Nonetheless, Hickory Flat catches a major break, but they can't make the shot. Rebound Madison Bennett of Tishomingo County. And, uh, again, one of my favorite sayings, the ball does not lie. Here's Briley Hill. Her shot blocked. A foul on this end, though. Two free throws coming for Briley Hill. Foul to the Lady Rebels, called on number 21. Marissa Simmons, that's her second, team seventh. Two free throws for Briley Hill, looking for her first points of the contest. First is up, and it's good. 10 of 11 are the Lady Braves this evening so far from the free throw line. Now a two possession lead for Tishomingo County as Adney Floyd has checked into the ball game. Here comes the second free throw now. It's up, and it is good as well. Briley Hill gets the friendly roll on the home court to Shemingo County 17, Hickory Flat 12. We've got six minutes, 54 seconds before our halftime break. Hickory Flat on the offensive end. Simmons ahead to number 21. That's Marissa Simmons, the Simmons to Simmons connection. That's two more points on the short jumper from Marissa Simmons. Back to a one position game, 17-14. Madison Bennett to Morgan Perkins. Katie Powers now for the Lady Braves. Will signal to her teammate Floyd. Now gets it off to Madison Bennett. Bennett quickly to Briley Hill. I think every Lady Braves touched the ball this possession. Hill drives inside her layup. No good. Rebound controlled by Marissa Simmons of Hickory Flat. Now the Lady Rebels will go with a basketball. Short little floater up. No good, but a foul is called. Two free throws coming for Hickory Flat. And the foul on the Lady Braves called against number 21, Adney Floyd. That's her first and I believe the 16 foul, indeed that's the case, 16 foul to Shemingo County. This results in free throws for Marie Simmons. She's got five points in the ball game. Tied for the team most. Here's the first shot. It's true. Christian Bobo back in for the Lady Braves to replace Briley Hill. Today's game brought to you by the Tishomingo County Electric Power Association, a member of TVAZ program. TVA will come in and do an energy audit of your home. For more information, 662-423-423. 366 during normal business hours. Thanks as well to Piggly Wiggly of Iuka, Red Bay, and Belmont. The lowest price is hometown friendly service. Second free throw for Simmons is no good. Christian Bubba the rebound for Tishomingo County. Hal Bennett drives inside, and we've got a foul consensus from all three officials. This should result in free throws for Tishomingo County. The foul ball, that's three now on Marissa Simmons for Hickory Flat. Team eight. And there will be free throws coming. Madison Bennett at the free throw line. Shooting two. First free throw in and good. And now Hickory Flats going to bring Jenna Poff back into the ball game. And uh, this is an interesting move. That again, Marissa Simmons will exit the game temporarily with three fouls. Uh, but Poff, who enters back into the game, she's got two fouls of her own. Let's keep an eye on that as we move forward this final 6.05 of the second period. Second free throw in and good for Bennett. Lady Braves still have only missed one free throw all game long. Now 19-15 to Shemingo County leading Hickory Flat. Simmons trying to go coast to coast again. And we've got a foul. Going to result in two more free throws for Hickory Flat. Give this foul to Christian Bobo for Tishomingo County. 
It's her first team seventh. I think they're going to call this one on the floor. It'll be a one plus one violation as they're going to let Robin McMillan check back in. So one and one, Marissa Simmons will shoot for the bonus. 5.58 to go now in the second period. Here's the free throw. It's in and good. She'll get the bonus. That's seven points now for Marie Simmons. Today's game also brought to you by Grace Long Real Estate Nayuka that can help you sell your home. And I promise you, they'll work hard for you. 662-423-5555 as Marie Simmons now with eight points in the game. That uh, leads all scorers, by the way. Hickory Flat trailing Tishomingo County 19-17. to Under six to go in our first half. Adney Floyd with the basketball. Christian Bobo now over to Morgan Perkins. Lady Braves moving the ball very effectively and efficiently this evening so far. Robin McMillan to Adney Floyd. Running the offense smoothly. Floyd now to the basket. Her shot up no good. Christian Bobo offensive rebound. She's Her shot no good. Rebound eventually into the hands of Hannah Mason for Hickory Flat. Here come the Lady Rebels. Guess what? Simmons trying to go straight to the basket. Her shot is up. It's no good. Rebound. Adney Floyd to Fishamingo County. Well, that's a lot of Hickory Flat. What they're going to do. You're going to see a lot of Simmons going to the basket, apparently. We've seen that for now nearly a quarter and a half. Powers with the basketball. We'll drive with the left hand. Now over to Christian Bobo. Bobo back to Powers. She'll dribble in with the left hand. A little floater. In and good. Katie Powers has six points. That's the most of any Tishomingo County player. Lady Braves lead Hickory Flat 2-1-17. Again, this is Senior Night 2019 on WRMG TV 12, TV 97. Mason, her pass nearly stolen away by uh, Christian Bubba. We have a jump ball, and it will indeed be a steal. Position there our favors Tishomingo County, so give Bubba a credit for a steal on that play. Here's Madison Bennett checking back in to replace Robin McMillan. Thank you, H&R Block and Ayuka Red Bay and Fulton. They're your tax professionals. Also, Sid Whitehurst of Sid's Trading Company. Don't forget, if you've got a bush hog mower dig, get it at Sid's. Also, that second location to serve you is at 617 Highway 72, just past the campus here at Tishomingo County High School. They've got Coyote tractors and skag mowers, among many other great products. Loose basketball ends up in the hands of Powers, and now a blocking foul, two shots, and that is big on Hickory Flat. That looked like a pretty clean block, but that's going to be the second foul charge to our Destiny Harris. Her second team night powers back to the charity stripe for two shots. She's one for two in this game so far from the free throw line. Her shot is up. It's good. Powers down with seven points. Lady Raisley 22-17 over Hickory Flat. Don't forget as well, as Powers shoots her second free throw, that Modern Woman offers financial services and fraternal member benefits to individuals and families serving your community. You may call Ronnie Cook at 662-423-8477 to start the conversation. That is Modern Woman of America on the web at modern-woodman.org. And now a foul. Who will it be on? We had a foul there on Hickory Flat once again. This will be double bonus time. The foul charge to number five, Laney Teal, her first team 10th as Morgan Perkins got the steal. Again, two free throws here. Double bonus time for the Braves. First free throw up and in good. Well, Hickory Flat picked the wrong night to put the Lady Braves in the double bonus with 4.21 to go in any particular half. They have shot the free throw a very, very efficiently. Perkins tacks on. Two more free throws there. Lady Braves now 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 17 out of 18 for the free throw line in the first 12 minutes of this ball game. Lady Rebels now trailing by eight points, 25-17. This is the largest lead of the ball game so far for Tishomingo County. Simmons over to Mason now, over to 33. Poff for three. It's well strong off the glass and rebounded by number 24, Morgan Perkins. Lady Braves now will push ahead to Adney Floyd. She'll drive toward the basket, bounce past the Bobo. Her shot is blocked, but we've got a foul. Two free throws coming for the Lady Braves. Jenna Poff will pick up that foul, and again, she becomes the second Hickory Flat player to pick up three fouls in this first half. So things going in favor of the Lady Braves in that department. Bobo with two more free throws coming here on the shot. It's good on the first. And let's see, 24 checking in for Hickory Flat. Corlilla Burnside. She's in the game to replace Poff, who has those three fouls. Here comes the second free throw for Christian Bobo. It's true as well. Christian Bobo with six points all at the free throw line. Make it 19 for 20 
for the Lady Braves at the free throw line. 27-17, double digit advantage for the Lady Braves. Now a shot from Lenny Teal, no good off the side of the, uh, the backboard. Rebounds to Perkins, she's ahead quickly to Christian Bobo, layup, in and good! Assist to Morgan Perkins, Christian Bobo gets her first field goal of the game. She's now got eight inbounds play, nearly stolen by Bobo. And now another near still from Adney Floor, but it's Ardastony Harris bringing it into the front court now for Hickory Flat. Here's Harris, bounces it off of a uh, off Christian Bobo's leg with the errant pass picked up by Laney Teal of Hickory Flat. Now back to Ardastony Harris. Harris. We'll go toward the basket, and we've got an offensive foul. This time, I can assure you, it'll be an offensive foul. And our Destiny Harris, she just picked up her third foul. And they'll leave her in the ballgame. I don't think they got much of a choice but to leave her in. She's a very talented young lady. Five points, but she's just picked up her third foul. Three minutes to go in the second period to Shemingo County, 29, Hickory Flat, 17. Here's Perkins to the right side, far from us. Now to Madison Bennett, back to Adney Floyd, and timeout to Shemingo County. We'll take it with them, 2.49 to go in the, in the opening half. Your score, Lady Braves 29, Hickory Flat 17. We've got timeout on the floor and timeout to give you this great message from Jamie Stewart, sponsoring today's game. Here's your North Half Constable into Shemingo County. Thank you, El Picante Mexican Restaurant number two. That's the in the old Jacks building, 1103 Battleground Drive, 662-423. 3708 John's Garage and JNS Auto Sales 482 365 South in Burnsville open Monday through Friday 7 a.m. until 5 p.m. and the services include used cars, trucks, SUVs also they can handle complete auto repair computer diagnostics and air conditioning service 662-427-8298 or also online johnsgarage.net thank you uh, you can discount drugs. The pharmacy driving window and medication synchronization. Thank you, Chris Cornelison and staff. 662-423-9039. Also, Northeast Mississippi Community College, one of the top 25 community colleges in the entire country. For more information, you may visit nemcc.edu, one of the premier colleges in our great nation. Lady Braves now back on offense following the timeout. Adney Floyd will try a three. No good off the back iron. Rebound loose, and she gets her own rebound. Floyd gets the board for Tishomingo County. Now Powers, floater is blocked, but there's a foul. Two free throws coming for Tishomingo County. The foul issued to Hickory Flat, number five, Laney Teal. That's her second. Lady Rebels already well past the 10 foul threshold. Two free throws for Katie Powers. She's got eight. Looking for uh, to reach double figures if she can get two free throws to fall. First one, though, off the front iron and no good. Thank you, Dr. James Perkins and the staff at the IUK Animal Clinic, located at Highway 25 South, Healthcare Grooming and Boarding for your pets, 662 423 3470. Also, thank you, David Wayne Crum, your Tisha Mingo County Tax Assessor. Now, an offensive rebound, put back for Perkins, no good. Bubba gets a rebound, her put back, in and good. Well, the bad news is Lady Braves missed two free throws and one trip for the first time all game. They were 19 of 20 previously, but Bobo with the second chance points. She's in double figures with 10. Now Hickory Flood on the opposite side of the floor. Marie Simmons on the fast break. She's got 10 and double figures already for the Lady Rebels. So now both teams with one double figure score apiece. Bobo with 10, Simmons with 10 for Hickory Flat. Adney Floyd now. Katie Powers thought, faked a three. She'll try a long two. No good. Rebound to Marie Simmons for Hickory Flat. I bet she's going to try and go coast to coast. Guess what? She does just that. Her layup in and good. She has established her game plan, sports fans. We've got 90 seconds to go. It's back to a 10-point lead to Shemingo County, 31. Hickory Flat, 21. And Marie Simmons has 12 of those 21 for Hickory Flat. Adney Floyd back to Madison Bennett. Bennett inside to Morgan Perkins at the free throw line. Picks up her dribble. Now Bennett, she'll try a long three. No good. Rebound, Christian Bobo. The putback, no good. Rebound to Laney Teal of Hickory Flat. Now our Destiny Harris, she's going to try and go coast to coast. There's the foul. Two free throws coming for Hickory Flat. Foul on number 21 for Tishomingo County. Adney Floyd, that's her second teammate. And Harris shooting free throws now for Hickory Flat, and she's got five in the ball game. Make it six with that one. Mara Nunley checking back in for the Lady Braves to replace Adney Floyd with those two fouls. She's the first Lady Brave to collect a second foul. Thank you, Carly Carmen, attorney at law, 1723 West Equipment Street. Now you, Carly, specializing in criminal defense, family law, wills, and estates, estate planning, and real estate closings, 662 593 
30-79 as Harris is taking free throw. No good offensive rebound, though, to Mason. Shot up in and good. Ardassany Harris off the assist from Hannah Mason. Second chance points, this time for Hickory Flat. Harris now with eight. Lady Rebels have cut their deficit to 31-24. Under one minute to play in our opening half. Here's Morgan Perkins. She'll drive with the left hand. Jumper, no good. Rebound, loose. Chased down by Marie Simmons of Hickory Flat. She lost her footing, though, and it's stolen away by Mara Nunley. Now across court to Katie Powers. 30 seconds to go now. 31-24, Lady Braves. Perkins, a short floater. We'll get the home court rolling and good. Seven now for Morgan Perkins. Second field goal of the game. First two-point field goal for Morgan Perkins. 33-24. Lady Braves need one more defensive stop. Here's a jumper. Nine and one. They do not get it. The end one to Corlilla Burnside. Foul go against Christian Bobo, and she'll pick up her second right here before the halftime horn. Team foul number nine. Here's a chance at an old-fashioned three-point play, by the way. A nice assist on that play from Ardastony Harris. Here's Corlilla Burnside. Free throw is up, and it is no good. Front iron Bobo does get the rebound. 12 seconds now to go. Lady Braves with one more offensive possession. Eight seconds now. 33-26 Lady Braves. Now Powers. Five seconds, four. Now Barn Nunley from WNBA range. No good over the backboard. And that's how the half end as the clock hits all zeros. Your halftime score to Shemingo County, 33. Hickory Flat, 26. Let's see. The Lenny Braves will outscore Hickory Flat 18 to 14 in the second period. And your halftime score, Lady Braves 33, Hickory Flat 26. Of note, though, before we go through our halftime stats, uh, the big news is that Hickory Flat has three players with three fouls in the first half. That would be Ardastony Harris with three. She's the biggest of the three, certainly. Uh, Marissa Simmons, who has three, and then Jenna Poff has three as well. Let's go through our halftime statistics now, and that's brought to you by McLaughlin, Tishomingo County Coroner, and also Peyton Cummings, your Tishomingo County Chancery Clerk. Thank you, Spark CPA, with six locations to serve you in Red Bay, Iuka, Muscle Shoals, Florence, Boonville, and Corinth with free electronic filing of all income tax returns, individual and business income tax preparation, monthly bookkeeping, payroll, and sales tax services. Thank you, State Farm Insurance Agent Boyce Hollingsworth at 214 East Equipment Street, Iuka with uh, auto, home, life, health, and retirement policies, 662-423-5931. Halftime stats brought to you by Gatlin's Pharmacy. See the pharmacist you know and trust, Mr. Stanley Page. See if he can save you money at Gatlin's Pharmacy or Health Want Pharmacy in downtown Tishomingo, 662-438-6605. And MTS, formerly Mississippi Tool Supply, safety apparel, vests, T-shirts, safety glasses, and earplugs made and sold in Belmont, 1-800-64781. Six, eight. Here's your first half stats. We'll start with Tishomingo County. And Christian Bobo on her senior night is already in double figures. Ten points for that young lady and a good start for her, but we will have to be careful with her. She's one of two Lady Braves with two fouls along with Adney Floyd. Following Christian Bobo, Katie Powers, the junior, with eight points in the first half. Morgan Perkins started strong seven points for her, including a three-point basket. Four points off the free throw line for Madison Bennett. Two for Kimball Holly and also two for Riley Hill, it's a total of 33 in the first half. We'll count the free throws one more time for you. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 19 for 22 are the Lady Braves from the free throw line. That is not bad at all, and that certainly is the difference in this ballgame so far. Now for Hickory Flat, their halftime stats. They've got one double-figure score already. She's the leading scorer in the entire ballgame for both teams. Marie Simmons has 12 points. So far, our Destiny Harris not far behind her. Uh, eight points so far for that young lady. Four points for Marissa Simmons. Two points for Corlilla Burnside. That's a total of 26 at the halftime break. Your halftime stats once again brought to you by b Supermarket in Burnsville. Highway 365 South. Fresh produce, awesome meat, dairy department as well. They accept your Visa MasterCard and EBT food stamps. Hometown Pizza on Yuka is a stat sponsor. 621 Battleground Drive. Regina and James Smith are your owners. Uh, give Brittany the crew a call. They'll get it ready for you. Again, secure it location only. 662-593-3036. Also, Triple D's Bucket Service. Barney, Brandon, and Dustin Dick try their best to meet your high reach needs. Don't forget that includes trimming and removing trees, debris removal, stump grinding, cleaning steeples as well. They're all done in a professional manner. 662-279-7500. Well, again, we remind you of uh, upcoming games for the Tishomingo County Lady Braves and Braves. This, again, the final week of the regular season. Even though this is senior night, this is not the final 
home game for Tishomingo County of the regular season. That will be on Thursday, two days from now, Thursday, uh, February the 7th, as the Lady Braves and Braves welcome Biggersville. These are makeup games, not originally scheduled, makeup games from back in November when Biggersville was still in the football playoffs. So make note of that. Thursday, home games with Biggersville. Again, varsity starts as always at 6 o'clock. And then on Friday will be the regular season finale, and it'll be on the road after four straight games at home. One more road preparation before the division tournament. It'll be at Morville on Friday night, February the 8th, in the Division One for a tournament in this very building. Uh, Tuesday, and that is uh, one, one week from today, Tuesday, February the 12th. We'll go over that schedule for you between games one more time for the division tournament as well. But for now, your halftime score in our girls' contest on Senior Night 2019. Tishomingo County 33, Hickory Flat 26. This is WRMG TV 12, TV 97, your home for the Lady Braves. As the area's top full service auto repair shop, Brinsville Tire truly does it all. Bring your ride to them for a routine oil change, brake job, or transmission repair. While you're in it, let them install a lift kit or leveling kit or a custom exhaust. Their 24 hour towing will also get you out of a jam when you need it the most. Again, thank you, Burnsville Tire, sponsoring our broadcast here today. As we get ready for second half action on WRMG TV 12, TV 97, your score is Tishomingo County 33, Hickory Flat 20. Again, this is Senior Night 2019. Exclusive TV coverage right here on WRMG. Lady Braves will send out these five to begin the second half. It'll be Christian Bobo. Also, Madison Bennett, Morgan Perkins, Mara Nunley, and Katie Powers. Hickory Flat will have number five, Laney Teal, 23, Marie Simmons. Also, 12, Ardastity Harris, 21, Marissa Simmons, and 23, and uh, foul, by the way, pardon me, that's 33, Jenna Poff. The foul on the Lady Braves out of the bat. Christian Bobo picks up her third, and that is team foul. Number one, first whistle, and we're just five seconds into the second half. This is Marie Simmons back at the free throw line to shoot two. First free throw is in and good. And for the first time this game, we'll see Clara Garland checking into the basketball game. The freshman in to replace Bobo, who just again picked up her third foul. Two, one more free throw coming here as Marie Simmons now has 13 points in the game. Free throw is up, and it's good as well. Simmons with 14 out of Hickory Flats, 28. Tishomingo County's lead was once double figures. It's cut now to 5, 33-20. Again, if you're just tuning in, we're just underway in the third period. This is the Lady Braves' first offensive possession of the second half. Katie Powers over to Perkins. Quickly to Madison Bennett and Tamara Nunley. Garland working on the inside and working uh, very good posting up. Powers will shoot around Garland. It's no good. Rolled around the rim. Rebound out of bounds. Last touch by Hickory Flat. Lady Braves will keep possession. Thank you to Iuka Monument Company, the highest quality and reasonable price. 662-423-3203. John Dinastarti is your Tishomingo County Sheriff. Inbounds play barely beats the five-second count. Powers had to pick up her dribble now back to Morgan Perkins. Thought about a three. She'll drive inside instead. Shot up. No good. Rebound on Destiny Harris for Hickory Flat. Here come the Lady Rebels. Again, they move quickly in transition. Madison Bennett's layup for Harris. No good. Bennett had stepped in. In, def in defense for the Lady Braves. Now Powers, a jumper. Her shot, no good. Lady Braves have missed their first three attempts, I believe, of the second half. Harris with the rebound once again for Hickory Flat. She trips up under her own feet. Now, oh, man. I guess she kept her feet on the ground. That's why there wasn't a travel. Now inside Simmons, no good. Rebound. It's still loose. Finally picked up by Morgan Perkins for Tishomingo County. Lady Braves 33, Hickory Flat 28, Mara Nunley now. Her layup off the glass, no good. Rebound, loose, picked up by number 21, Marissa Simmons for Hickory Flat. Ball's loose on the floor now, and we've got a foul on Tishomingo County. We're going to get Clara Garland uh, with a foul. Her first, team second. And now Briley Hill checks back into the ball game to replace Garland, who just picked up her first personal. El Picante Mexican Restaurant, number one, the original location, 1727 West Equipment Street. Come and enjoy the flavor of authentic Mexican food, 662-423-7224. Now our Destiny Harris quickly again. Here's Laney Teal. She picked up her dribble, now pass tipped by Perkins, but into the hands of Marissa Simmons. Now back to Teal for three, no good. Rebound to Shemingo County's Katie Powers with the board for her team. Now she'll bring it across the time stripe. 
Lady Bray still looking for their first points of the second half, 33-28. Lady Braves with the lead. It was 33-26 at halftime. Now Bennett will try a three. No good. Rebound to Marissa Simmons for Hickory Flats. Lady Rebels quickly ahead to Teal. She will travel with the basketball. A good call. Return over on the Hickory Flat to Shemingo County basketball. And another sub in for Brian Middleton. Here comes Adney Floyd checking in to replace Madison Bennett. Parsons Earthworks can handle your drainage systems, excavating gravel, dirt, dozier work, and foundation work. 662-424-0159, 662-279-9809. Nunley Trucking Company, that's Herman and their entire staff, 662-424-0080. Perkins over to Briley Hill. Hill back to Perkins. Again, she thought about a three knot, pulling the trigger. Now stolen away, Laney Teal intercepts the pass from Briley Hill, trying to go coast to coast, left and layup is in and good. First points of the game for Laney Teal, and folks, it's a one possession game all of a sudden. 33-30, Hickory Flats scored four straight to begin the second half. Powers back out to Nunley, and the Lady Braves will reset the offense with 5.13 to go in the third quarter. Now Mar Nunley wide open for three. It's short, the rebound offensively chased down by Adney Floyd. Now inside to Mar Nunley, and she's fouled. It was not, uh, not a purposeful shove, but it was a hard shove nonetheless. Charged to Jenna Poff for Hickory Flat, and that's big because that is her fourth. Team foul number one at Hickory Flat in the second half. So that's the first player in the game, either team, it's got four fouls. Poff will exit the contest in favor of Hannah Mason, and so will Mara Nunley. She'll exit in favor of Campbell Holly. 5.03 to go in the third quarter. Tishomingo County, 33, Hickory Flat, 30. Here's Bradley Hill. May have gotten away with a travel. Her shot no good nonetheless. Rebound to Marissa Simmons for Hickory Flat. She picks up her dribble, gets it off to Marie Simmons. Simmons now. Again, she's been good at driving toward the basket. She hands it off this time, though, to Laney Teal. Now to Hannah Mason. She'll put up a floater from the free throw line. No good. Rebound still loose. Marie Simmons gets it. She's wide open to the goal and in good. A 6-0 run by Hickory Flat to start the second half. They've got it within one point, 33-32. Perkins over to Floyd. Now stolen away. La Lady Rebels can take their first lead. Layup is in and good, and they will. Timeout to Shemingo County. Ardestiny Harris to steal. She goes coast to coast and for the first time this ball game. Hickory Flat leads to Shemingo County. The score 34-33. It's an 8-0 run by the Lady Rebels. Timeout on the floor. 30-second timeout called by the Lady Braves. This timeout brought to you by Gina McNatt, your Tishomingo County tax collector. Thank you to Milligan Ready Mix at Old 25 North and Iuka with those Mississippi, Alabama, and Tennessee stepping stones. And also gutter splash blocks as well. 662-423-6238. Harwell Parts and Supply, your car quest dealer and Iuka business hours there Monday through Friday, 7 a.m. until 5 p.m. Open on Saturday, 7 until noon, 662-423-9892. Hometown Pizza in Burnsville, 343 Highway 72. In the East Burnsville Shopping Plaza. Don't forget that crustless pizza now for dollars don't like so much bread. For carryout orders, you may call 662-360-4019. Lady Braves trying to regain the lead for the first time. Hickory Flat ahead of the strength of an 8-0 run to begin the second half. Lady Rebels have been active on the defensive end as well. As we tell you quickly, today's game brought to you by Randy Stringer, your chief of police for the city of Iuka. We're halfway through the third quarter. Lady Rice has still not scored in this second half. Here's Powers. She'll drive toward the basket, pick it up back to Campbell Holly. She'll try a three. Bang! It's a big one, and it's in and good. Campbell Holly knocks down her first field goal of the ball game. She's got five total points. Lady Rice back ahead 36-34, but the foul goes against Tishomingo County. A whistle and a stoppage of play. The foul on number 23, Briley Hill. Her second team third, 3.40 to go in the third period. Tishomingo County 36, Hickory Flats 34. Simmons with the left hand now back out to Marissa Simmons. Now over to Laney Teal. She'll drive toward the basket with the left hand pick up her dribble back now to Ardastony Harris. Again, back to Teal. She'll fire a three. The response is no good. Bounced off the rim twice. And the rebound picked up by Briley Hill. Now Lady Rays quickly. They'll try and do what Hickory Flat does well. That's quick, move quickly on offense. Katie Powers now back to Perkins. Inside to Bradley Hill. She'll get it to Mara, no, pardon me, Campbell Holly. Now all the way back to uh, Perkins. Powers to Holly over to Adney Floyd. 
And now the Lady Braves moving the ball effectively off fence. Now wide open three. Bang! It's Kimball Holly. She stuck down the two biggest shots of the game so far. Back to back three balls, and the Lady Braves lead 39 34. What a response by the Lady Braves out of that timeout. A great timeout called by Brian Middleton, the head coach of the Tishomingo County Lady Braves. Now Teal fires a two in and good. Wow. A great call by Laney Teal. She had been double teamed. Lady Braves expected the pass to go back outside the arc, so they pulled back, but Laney Teal just simply turned around to the hoop again, shot, and she scores. 39 36. Floyd to the basket. Her layup in and good. Adney Floyd gets her first bucket of the contest, 41 36. And she just drove that one straight toward the cylinder. Now Marissa Simmons will be fouled. Pardon me, Marie Simmons is fouled. And that will go against Adney Floyd. She'll be the second Tishomingo County player to pick up her third personal. It's team foul number four on the Lady Braves in the second half. 2.13 to go before the third quarter is over. The score, Tishomingo County, 41 Hickory Flat. 36, Lady Rables led this game by one, but back-to-back -back trays from Campbell Holly have given the Lady Braves some breathing room once again. Missed shot, there's Holly with the rebound, speaking of that young lady for Tishomingo County. Adney Floyd would run the point for the Lady Braves. Today's game brought to you by Randy Stringer, again, your chief of police and I. You can also Tiff and Mother Homes featuring those great Allegro homes. Morgan Perkins over now to Campbell Holly. Powers, she'll drive toward the hoop, then back out now to Holly. Now Adney Floyd over to Nora Passes tipped and it's uh, well as it stolen away, it'll go out of bounds. Last touch by Tishomingo County. A turnover on the Lady Braves. Explore liquidation in Belmont, your home for bargains. You can find mattresses at the lowest prices around with living room, bedroom, and dining room furniture, tools, cool gel pillows, and much more. Take Highway 25 South in Belmont to Dickinson Road across from Tiffin's entrance. Harris now to Teal. Teal over to number 23, Marie Simmons. A long two is no good. Rally Hill, a rebound for Tishomingo County. Under 90 seconds to go now in the third period. Lady Braves ahead 41-36 on senior night. Adney Floyd picks up her dribble back to Briley Hill. Bounce pass to Campbell Holly now. She'll take a dribble over to Katie Powers. Powers back to Holly. Morgan Perkins to Adney Floyd. She'll drive inside. Her shot up, no good, too strong rebound. Floyd gets her own rebound. Adney Floyd has played some valuable minutes here in this third period as we're now under a minute to go. Flo Campbell Holly for three, no good off the iron. Rebound, saved back inbounds. What a play there by Katie Powers. She saves the possession for Tishomingo County and gets a deserved round of applause for that. Now she's got the basketball in her hands. Back now to Morgan Perkins and the Lady Braves may hold the basketball if Hickory Flat will let him. 30 seconds to go in the period. Perkins now over to Adney Floyd. Floyd being guarded closely by Hannah Mason. That's a hand check. Two hands is an automatic call. The foul will go against number 25, Hannah Mason. That's her second team second of the second half. Thank you to Shemingo County Electric Power Association, a member of TVAZ program. TVA will come in and do an energy audit of your home. And for more information, call 662-423-3646 during normal business hours. And now another foul on Hickory Flat. Once again, a two-hand violation. This one will go against, once again, number 25, Hannah Mason. That's her third, team third. And we will have a sub for the Lady Rebels once they... Whistle her in, and now they will do that. Mason will leave with three fouls, and she'll be replaced by Corlilla Burnside once again. 41-36, 17 seconds to go in the third period. Perkins to the basket. Her shot blocked from behind, and then Perkins gets the rebound and travels with the basketball. They're going to say Perkins blocked it, then the rebound came into her hands. She took two or three steps there. I think a good call there by our officiating crew. Hickory Flat now a chance for the last possession of the quarter. Teal over, now Simmons driving to the Hooper shot, and in and good. Don't know how she got that one up and over the Lady Rays defense, but it falls, and the Lady Rays lead is one possession after three periods. Hickory Flat did lead, keep that in mind, uh, at one point in the third quarter, but the Lady Rays will lead 41-38 after three periods of play. Let's see, it was 12-8. Uh, That's what Hickory Flat scores to Shemingo County in the third quarter. Let's head to the fourth on this senior night. Over an hour into our broadcast coverage, I'm Blake Long, Randall Lindsay on the camera. 
Denise Ivy with us in Control Central as well, taking care of things on uh, behind the scenes. Thank you again to all those that are listening live audio on WRMGRadio.com at the TCHS Sports Link and also on TV 97 throughout Tishomingo County. Again, thank you for being with us this evening. Thanks to those watching on TV replay, whether it be on TV 97 on YouTube at Jack Ivy. You can search for Jack Ivy on YouTube or whether you're listening to us on a DVD copy of today's game. Thank you so much. If you want a copy of today's game on DVD, which will include the girls game, the guys game, and all these senior night festivities, that phone number is 662 97. Just ask for Jack or Denisa Ivy, 662-454-9797. Today's Senior Night activities and games brought to you by uh, Grace Long Real Estate. They can help you sell your home, 662-423-5555. Grace and her staff will work hard for you. Also, Piggly Wiggly of Iuka, Red Bay and Belmont, lowest prices, Hometown friendly service. An HR block in Iuka Red Bay and Fulton is your tax professionals. Holly for three to begin the fourth quarter. It's no good off the backboard. That should be a dead ball, but they're going to get a break. Edney Floyd gets the rebound. Put back no good. She gets her own rebound again. Her shot is in and good. It may not. Here's the deal. I said it should be a dead ball, and it may not have from my vantage point. I could not tell if it bounces off the black of the backboard, the black top of it there that holds the goalpost up as there's a shot three pointer in and good for. Laney Teal, she's got seven now, but it bounces off the black part there. That's behind the backboard and should be a dead ball error, but if it rolls on top of the glass, the top of the backboard itself, then the ball is still live, and it may have done that as Harris gets a block. Rebound to Hickory Flat. Lady Rebels can once again tie or take the lead. Simmons to the hoop. She's got it. Lady Braves have been unable to stop Marie Simmons on that situation. She's got 20 points, and we're tied at 43 apiece. Adney Floyd to Katie Powers. Powers again to Campbell Holly. She'll try another three. No good. She was big in the third quarter, but she's missed two in a row now. Foul, and Bobo will pick up her fourth. Christian Bobo becomes the first Lady Brave to pick up her fourth foul, and that's team foul number five on the Lady Braves. Madison Bennett, Bradley Hill into the game. Holly and uh, actually they're going to leave Campbell Holly in. It will be Powers and Bobo exiting. Smart call with Bobo having those four personals with 6.47 to go in the ball game. We are tied 43-43. Sid Whitehurst, Sid's Trading Company. Don't forget they've got two locations to serve you. 617 Highway 72, also on Highway 25 South, both in Iuka. 662-205-6469, the phone number at the new location. Also 662-424-0025 at the original location. And I foul on the Lady Braves. Foul situation is almost opposite of the first half. Lenny Ravens just picked up their sixth team foul. Hickory Flat has three so far, and Browley Hill picks up her third personal. Inbounds play goes to Marie Simmons. Again, she's got a game-high 20 points. Now the pass over to Corlilla Burnside. Now our Destiny Harris to Teal. She'll try a long two-point jumper for the lead. It's in and good. Laney Teal has nine points all in the second half. Hickory Flat leads to Shemingo County once again, 45-43. This is their largest lead of the game at two points. Lady Rebels only lead was by one midway through the third quarter after they started the second half on an 8-0 run. Madison Bennett back to Perkins. Perkins to Bennett again. She'll try her hand at a three. No good. Lady Braves have gone cold from three-point range. Harris. Will put up a shot, it's in and good, and she counts the basket and and one opportunity. Foul goes against Morgan Perkins, her first team seventh. Our Destiny Harris now with 12, and she'll have a chance at an old-fashioned three-point play. As Hickory Flat has a double-digit advantage for the first time in this ball game. Here's the free throw, it's up and it's in and good. Timeout called by Tishomingo County. Full timeout, Lady Braves will take it with them with 5.52 to go in the ball game. Hickory Flat has its largest lead of the ball game, 48-43 over the Lady Braves. This timeout on the floor brought to you by Ronnie Cook and Modern Women of America, founded in 1883. Modern Women offers financial services and also member benefits to individuals and families throughout the United States of America. For more information, call Ronnie Cook, 662-423-8477. This is Modern Woman of America, touching lives, securing futures. Also sponsoring this timeout, Jamie Stewart, your North Half Constable in Tishomingo County. Thank you, El Picante. Mexican restaurant number two, 11 a.m. to 10 p.m. daily, 1103 Battleground Drive, 
423-3708. John's Garage and JNS Auto Sales, 482 Highway 365 South in Burnsville. Don't forget their 24-hour towing ASE certified tradition on staff, serving the Tristan area since 1985. Call today, 662-427-8298 or John's Garage. Net. IUK Discount and Drugs, Chris Cornelius and Kurt Butler, Lee Griffin, and their entire staff, 662-423-9039. And Northeast Mississippi Community College, again, one of the top 25 community colleges in the nation. Spring semester classes are well underway. For more information on academic programs or athletic programs, nemcc.edu or nemccathletics.com. And congratulations to the Northeast men's basketball team becoming nationally ranked today, the 23rd ranked team in the nation, the Northeast Tigers, off to a 16 and three start to the season as they work their way. They've got four games remaining before the state playoffs. That first home game or the next home game will be on Thursday, that's February the 7th this week. Uh, and that'll be against uh, Northwest rivalry game for Northeast. If you don't have anything going on, join us in Bonner Arnold Coliseum as Northwest comes Thursday night for North Division basketball action. He must play to Katie Powers. Powers, she's fouled. Do we count the basket on the floor is the call. And I think a good call there. The foul will go against Hickory Flat, number 23, Marie Simmons. That's her first team fourth. And uh, it'll be Lady Braves basketball underneath their own goal with 5.25 to go in the ballgame. Perkins will trigger the basketball in. She'll get it off to Bennett. Bennett to Katie Powers. Powers. Now back to Holly. She'll try to get hot again. In and good! Campbell Holly, now the leading scorer in the game for the Lady Braves with 11. She's got three three-point field goals all here in the second half. Lady Braves back within one possession. It's 48-46 Hickory Flat. That might have been a carrying there. It's still going to be a steal. Morgan Perkins trying to go coast-to-coast -coast layup. In and good! Morgan Perkins has nine on her senior night. We're tied up again. Now Simmons, the response in and good. They've got to find a way to cut off Marie Simmons going coast to coast after the Lady Braves score. 50 to 48 Hickory Flat, and Simmons has been the dagger for the Lady Rebels. She's got 22 of 50. Campbell Holly now over to Madison Bennett. She'll drive with the left hand and loses possession. Wow, Power saves the possession for the Lady Braves. Now back to Perkins. She'll drive with the left hand. Her shot, no good. Too strong. Rebound to Marissa Simmons for Hickory Flat. Here's Ardassany Harris as the Lady Rebels lead by two points as we approach the midway point of the fourth quarter. Now possession saved as Corlilla Burnside comes up limping on that play. The shot's no good. Rebound goes to Katie Powers. Now Powers on the fast break out to Morgan Perkins. Mouse pass to Powers. She gets by her man. Now nice pass inside to Holly. She's fouled. Two free throws coming for Campbell Holly. The foul registered to Hickory Flat number 23, Marie Simmons. I've got that as her second team foul number five on Hickory Flat. Two free throws coming. For Campbell Holly, she's two for two at the free throw line in this game, making it three for three. She's now got 12 points in the ball game, an outstanding game for the junior. Now Christian Bobo, make a note of it, she's back in the game with 3.59 to go. She's playing with four fouls. So keep an eye on that. Second free throw for the tie, no good. Rebound to Marissa Simmons of Hickory Flat. Lady Rebels will hold on to that lead by one point, 50 to 49. Now Simmons. Floater no good, rebound will go out of bounds, last touched by Tishomingo County. 3.46 remaining in the ball game. Hickory Flat 50, Tishomingo County 49. Lady Rebels trying to ruin senior night, at least on the girls' side of things. Inbounds play into the hands of Ardastony Harris. Now to Corlilla Burnside, back to Teal, who's had a great second half for Hickory Flat. Now Simmons, her shot is up. She absorbed contact, no foul call. The shot no good, rebound Christian Bobo. Lady Braves in a big offensive possession here. Powers was double teamed, now to Morgan Perkins. There's gotta be somebody open. Madison Bennett now inside to Christian Bobo. She tries to find Campbell Holly. Her shot is up, she's fouled. Two free throws, she can tie or give the Lady Braves the lead. Foul goes again, number 23, Marie Simmons. She's picked up three consecutive fouls for Hickory Flat. That's her third, team sixth. Two free throws for Campbell Holly. She's three for four on the day and she'll miss this one. And Campbell Holly has missed two in a row. Thank you, Dr. James Perkins and the staff at the IUK Animal Clinic, 662-423-3470. They're open Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday, 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. on Thursday, 7 a.m. until 1 p.m. Well, Holly at least ties the ball game. She makes the backside of the two-shot violation. We are knotted at 50 apiece, 317 to go in the ball game. 
Marie Simmons now off to Laney Teal now foul. Free throws will be coming. Foul goes against Tishomingo County number 24, Morgan Perkins, her second team eighth. And again, this will be a one plus one violation. Laney Till will have a chance to go into double figures if she can make her first free throw attempt of the ball game. She's got nine points total. Here's the shot, it's good. Lady Rebels lead once again. And Teal becomes the third Hickory Flat player to reach double figures. You've got Ardastony Harris with 13, Maria Simmons with 22, and Laney Teal with 10. Here's the next free throw, it's in and good. Lady Rebels ahead by two, 52-50 with 3.12 to go in the ball game. Morgan Perkins will weigh her options back to Katie Powers. Now back to Perkins once again. Three minutes to go. Perkins for a three. No good. Rebound to Burnside of Hickory Flat. Now here comes Simmons trying to do what she usually does, but she finds Ardestiny Harris. Her layup in and good. A wise pass from Marie Simmons to Ardestiny Harris. She's got 15 Lady Rebels back with a two possession lead. Perkins over to Campbell Holly, Holly inside to Christian Bobo, back out to Perkins. She'll drive toward the basket, her layup, in and good! The assist to Christian Bobo, an unselfish play, and Morgan Perkins on her senior night in double figures with 11. She's the third lady brave to reach double figures. Both teams now with three players in double figures apiece, but Hickory Flat has the most important number on the scoreboard. That's a lead of 54-52. Now they're gonna run some uh, time off the clock. They'll find Teal, a wide open three is no good. Rebound, Christian Bobo. And in the process, Corlilla Burnside was down on the floor, no foul call there. Perkins to the hoop, she scores, we're tied again! Morgan Perkins for a brief moment, Kimbo Holly was wide open, Lady Rays were unable to find her, but Perkins still goes to the hoop, she scores, 1.45 to go, we're tied at 54. Lady Rebels. Ardastiny Harris, now to Teal. She'll try for the lead again. No good, an air ball at that. Rebound out of bounds to Shemingo County basketball. We're tied at 54 apiece with 1.35 to go in the ball game. Today's game brought to you by David Wayne Crum, your Tishomingo County tax assessor, and by Carly Crowman, attorney at law, 1723 West Equipment Street, Nyuka, specializing in criminal offense, family law, wills in the states, estate planning, and real estate closings. Oh, a three in and good, Campbell Holly. Campbell Holly drains her fourth three in the second half, and the Lady Braves are back ahead by three. The junior may have saved senior night for Tishomingo County. Timeout on the floor, it's a full timeout, and we'll take it with them. 118 to go in the ballgame, 57 54. Campbell Holly, she's got 15 points to lead the Lady Braves. Again, thank you, Carly Carmen. Her phone number is 662 593 3079. Matt Quammen also sponsored this timeout. That's your Tishomingo County coroner. Thank you as well, Peyton Cummings, your Tishomingo County Chancery Clerk. Spark CPA, six locations to serve you in Iuka, Red Bay, Muscle Shoals, Florence, Boonville, and Corinth with payroll processing, truckers, fuel reports, permits, and IFTAs, audit review and compilation services, retirement planning, and tax planning consulting as well. State Farm Insurance Agent Boyce Hollingsworth on Iuka, 214 East Equipment Street. See Boyce for all your insurance needs. He's your State Farm Agent, 662-423-59. 31. See the pharmacist to you know and trust the Tishomingo, Mr. Stanley Page. See if he can save you money at Gatlin's Pharmacy or Healthmont Pharmacy, 662-438-6605. MTS is formerly Mississippi Tool Supply, safety apparel, vests, t-shirts, safety glasses, earplugs, made and sold in Belmont. Six, uh, pardon me, the phone number is 1-800-647-8168. Here we go, back to the action. Lady Rambles, their chance to see if they can respond. They're down by 357-54. Ardastony Harris nearly tied up there by Madison Bennett playing good defense. Folks, we've got one minute to go in the ball game. Here's Teal Lumper, it's in and good. Back to a one point game timeout, Hickory Flat. Laney Teal has 13 all here in the second half. We've got a timeout on the floor, a 30 second timeout called by Hickory Flat. The score to Shemingo County 57, Hickory Flat 56 with 57.3 seconds to go in this basketball contest. This timeout on the floor brought to you by B&J Supermarket in Burnsville. That's at Highway 365 South, open seven days a week, your hometown store with a price low 52 weeks every year. Thank you, Hometown Pizza in IU, 621 Battleground Drive. Don't forget that 20-inch party pizza. This is a carryout location only. 
give Brittany and the crew a call. They'll get it ready for you. 662-593-3036. Triple D's bucket service. Barney, Brendan, and Dustin Dick will try their best to meet your high reach needs. That includes trimming and removing trees. They also can handle debris removal, stump grinding, and cleaning steeples. They're done in a professional manner. 662-279-7500. Lady Rebels will show some pressure now in the back court as we're back underway. Perkins ahead to Madison Bennett into the front court. Bobo now back to Bennett, now to Morgan Perkins. 46 seconds to go now. Lady Rebels trying to run clock and force the Lady Rebels to foul. Campbell Holly, oh, dangerous pass. Madison Bennett brings it in back to Perkins. Perkins to Holly. Holly now to Bobo, 35 seconds. Lady Rebels, as they're saying, Coach Cool saying to foul. They still have not. Christian Bobo, she's finally fouled. So the Lady Braves successfully run off 29 seconds of game clock on this offensive possession. The foul to number 24, Corilla Burnside. That's her first team seventh. This will result in a one plus one situation for Christian Bobo. Bobo is six for six at the free throw line, though she has not shot a free throw in the second half. Her biggest of the game, it's good. <laughs> Lady Braves now a two point lead, 58-56. What a game here from Tishomingo County High School. Here's the next free throw. Good as well. Bobo now eight for eight at the free throw line. Here we go, clock running, 25 seconds. Here's number 21, Marissa Simmons. Over to Marie Simmons, she'll pull a three. No good, rebound, Kimball Holly, and an over the back call sends Holly to the free throw line. Foul goes against Hickory Flight number 21, Marissa Simmons. I have that as her fourth team eighth, and it will be Campbell Holly. This a one and one situation for Holly. Let's see her updated free throw numbers are four for six. So she's four for six at the free throw line. She's got a team high 15 for the Lady Braves for a two possession lead. In and good. 17.1 seconds to go, and you wonder if that will seal it here for the Lady Braves, but there's still quite a bit of time on the game clock. This is a big free throw, too. It's up. No good, rebound offensively, Bobo with the rebound. Her shot up, she's fouled. This should be two free throws. Foul will go against Hickory Flat, number 23, Marie Simmons. That's her fourth team night. This is indeed a two-shot violation to make it actually, no matter what, it'll still be a two-possession game as Bobo will look for uh, to keep her free throw perfection intact. But she can't, first free throw off the front iron, no good. Well. An eight for eight start to the free throw line, not bad for Christian Bobo. This is a big free throw still nonetheless. 13.7 seconds now on the game clock. Free throw up, it's good. 61-56 to score. 13.7 game clock running. Our Destiny Harris, she'll try to go straight to the hoop. No, she won't guard it there, now she will. Her shot is up, no good. Rebound Bobo, four seconds, three, now a foul. And that one goes against number 24, Corlilla Burnside, her second. Team 10th double bonus time for Tishomingo County and Christian Bobo. The game may already be sealed now with only four seconds to go and it's a two possession lead, but this uh, with two free throws certainly would seal the deal for the Lady Braves. While Bobo's shooting, we want to tell you that Burnsville Tire is the home of round tires and square deals. Drivers like you have light on them for tires and more since 1988 and you should too. All right, the seniors win the game on the floor. Very, very fitting. Mackenzie Gray, Robin McMillan, Marie, per, uh, pardon me, uh, Megan Perkins says, check back in the ballgame. I've said Marie Simmons so much, I nearly said it again. My apologies to Megan. The second free throw in and good, Christian Bobo. Four seconds to go. The seniors will walk off this court a winner on senior night. Here's the final shot. It's no good from Harris. Final score, Tishomingo County 63, Hickory Flat 56. And there is that group of seniors. They'll lead the Handshake line, Megan Perkins, Morgan Perkins. Also, Robin McMillan, Mackenzie Gray. And also, I'm missing one. Who am I missing? On a roster that's deep and talented, I'm missing McMillan. Robin McMillan. Lady Braves win 63-56, and we will have senior night festivities coming up right now, or momentarily on WRMG TV, 12 TV, 97. We're not going anywhere. Let's go ahead and do our final stats for this girls game brought to you by IU Commodium Company, the highest quality at a reasonable price, 662-423-3203. Also sponsoring our 
Final stats, John and Dennis Darty to Shemingo County Sheriff. Also El Picante Mexican Restaurant number one. That's at 1727 West Quitman Street, 662-423-7224. Parsons Earthworks, call Parsons for your drainage systems. Excavating gravel, dirt, dozier work, and foundation work, 662-424-0159, 662-279-9809. And Nunley Trekking Company, Herman and Darren Nunley, their entire staff, 662-424-0080. All right, here we go, final stats time now. And it will be Campbell Holly, the junior on senior night, scoring 16 points to lead the Lady Braves this evening. Following her, Christian Bobo on her senior night ends up with 15 points, second most on the team. Morgan Perk is on her senior night, 13. Those three in double figures this game for Tishomingo County. Katie Powers barely misses double figures with eight points. Four points apiece for the duo of Madison Bennett and Adney Floyd. And two points for Briley Hill, a total of 63 on the night. And for Hickory Flat, I come away very impressed with Marie Simmons, the point guard. She's got 22 points. Our Destiny Harris certainly good as well with 15. Laney Teal, 13 points. They had three in double figures. Following them, four points for Marissa Simmons and two for Corlilla Burnside, a total of 56 in this basketball game. So your leading scorers in the game, Campbell Holly for Tishomingo County with 16. Marie Simmons with 22 for Hickory Flat. Your final stats brought to you by Gina McNatt, your Tishomingo County tax collector. Also, Milligan Ready Mix, Old 25 North on Iuka with Pet Monuments, Stepping Stones, and Military Stones, 662-423-6238. Also, Harwell Parts and Supply, your Carquest dealer, 1102 West Whitman Street. Stop by Lachette and his staff take care of your parts and supply needs, 662-423-9892. 9-2. All right, we're going right into senior night. Let's go to our public address announcer. I believe they're going to do the women's basketball team first. Again, this will be brought to you by Hometown Pizza in Burnsville, 343 Highway 72 in the East Burnsville Shopping Plaza, 662-360-4019. We'll start with Christian Bobo. Let's go down floor level right now. She has been a member of the Lady Braves basketball team for four years. After graduating, Christian plans to attend college and major in nursing. There's your girls basketball seniors again from left to right, Christian Bobo, Mackenzie Gray, Robin McMillan, and the Perkinses, Megan and Morgan, as their teammates now line up and will uh, deliver hugs and well wishes. It's been a special season for these Lady Braves. Again, they'll be the number three seed in the Division One 4A tournament one week from right now playing Corinth next Tuesday night at 7 p.m. Now, a lot of basketball ahead for these young ladies and the senior class has certainly brought this Tishomingo County basketball program back to a very respected program in our area. We'll have the guys up next, and uh, while they 
deliver their final well wishes. Let's thank again Hometown Pizza, uh, one of our great sponsors in Burnsville, Iuka, and Cherokee, Alabama. Randy Stringer, Chief of Police in the city of Iuka. Thank you, Tiffin Mutter Homes of Red Bay, Belmont, and Iuka, featuring those great Allegro homes. Explore liquidation in Belmont, your home for bargains. Mike Stockton, your president. Jada Pitts is your manager. All merchandise from name brand retailers, they 50 to 75% daily. Also, check out their eBay store, Explore Liquidations Online. Don't forget the Tisha Mingle County Electric Power Association member of TVA's e-program. TVA will come and do an energy audit of your home. For more information, 662-423-3646. And now, time for our boys basketball seniors. Let's go floor level again. Starting with Peyton Cummings. The boys have had their turn. We're going to have the cheerleaders and the Bravettes next. And that's brought to you by Piggly Wiggly of Iuka, Belmont, and Red Bay. Lowest prices. Hometown friendly service. Thank you, Grace Long Real Estate. They can help you sell your home. See Grace and staff. They'll work hard for you. 662 423 5555. HR Block and Iuka, Red Bay, and Fulton is your tax professionals. Thank you, Sid Whitehurst and Sid's Ready Company. If you've got a bush, shock, more, dig, get it at Sid's. Remember, Sid's is the home for Coyote tractors, skag mowers, bush hog zero turn mowers the Landmaster Utility Vehicle, and also your local authorized Branson dealer. We remind you that Modern Women of America can help you plan for life, from protection to saving to retirement. The member-owned Fraternal Financial Services Organization also offers member benefits and local volunteer opportunities. You may call Ronnie Cook, 662-423-8477 for more information. Jamie Stewart, your North Half Costume on Tishman County, also sponsoring our Senior Night Festivities. Now back floor level, dance team time. Grace Carpenter. Grace is the daughter of Tabitha Parker and Mark Parker. She has been a member of the TCA Stands team for four years. After graduating, Grace managed to attend four days for Senior Junior College to pursue a degree in radiology. Grace Carpenter. Chloe Clay. Chloe is the daughter of Jesse and Sandy Rogers and the late She's been a member of the TCHS dance team for three years. After graduating, Ford plans to attend college to continue dancing and pursue a degree in special education. Ford Clay. Paige Hall. Paige is out of Craig and Vicky Hall. She's been a member of the TCHS dance team for four years. After graduating, Paige plans to attend this university for women and pursue a career in nursing. Paige Hall. Mallory McNeely. Mallory is the daughter of Keith and Jill McNeely. She has been a member of the GCHS dance team for four years. After graduating, Mallory plans to attend Fort Dix University College and pursue a degree in education. Mallory McNeely.
Thank you, ladies, for the years of dedication to TCHF Athletics. There's your dance team members. Again, our senior night festivities being brought to you by El Picante Mexican Restaurant Number 2. Open every day, 11 to 10 p.m. at 1103 Battleground Drive, 662-423-3708. Also, thank you, John's Garage and Janus Auto Sales, 482 Highway 365 South in Burnsville. Don't forget, they've got ASC certified dishes on staff serving the tri state area since 1985. Call today, 662-427-8298 or johnsgarage.net. Time for our cheerleaders. Again, our game today brought to you by IUCA Discount Drugs, Pharmacy uh, Jevon Widow Medication Synchronization, 662-423-9039. And also, thank you, Northeast Mississippi Community College, the future destination of many of these seniors. Now let's go down our cheerleaders. Senior night, Tishomingo County High School. Kelly Bay. Kelly is the daughter of Shannon and Candace Bay. She has been a member of the GCHS cheerleading team for four years. After graduating, Callie plans to attend college and pursue a degree in social work. Callie Berry. <laughs> Courtney Cox. Courtney is the daughter of Will Cox and Jennifer Cox. She has been a member of the GCH Chilean team for three years. After graduating, Courtney plans to attend Illinois Community College and pursue a degree in physical therapy. Kelly Huey. Kelly is the daughter of Brad and Cindy Huey. She has been a member of the GCHS cheerleading team for four years. After graduating, Kelly plans to attend college and pursue a degree in special education. Kelly Huey. Your cheerleading seniors, and that wraps up our group of four, our girls basketball, boys basketball, the dance team, and our cheerleaders. Congratulations to all these seniors, and again, all our great sponsor, Northeast Mississippi Community College. A, a uh, great sponsor of our broadcast, and again, you heard Northeast is the destination for many of these young men and young ladies. Again, Northeast is the premier community college in the state of Mississippi and in the Southeast, ranked as one of the top 25 community colleges in the entire nation. I promise you the young ladies and young men that are going to Northeast will receive a quality education. And for more information about Northeast, one of our great sponsors, you can visit nemcc.edu. Randall, let's see if we can get a zoom in here. Is they're gonna get a, an overall shot of our uh, senior class of basketball players, dancers, and cheerleaders. And, uh, again, we wish all these young men and young women a hearty uh, good luck. And, of course, it's been a pleasure of Randall and mine. Of course, we had football senior night. Now here we are, basketball senior night. It feels like yesterday we did uh, football senior night, I believe. Actually, I think you and uh, Steve Bates did football senior night against Senator Toby because I had Northeast obligations, I believe, this year. 
That's right, and moved to Thursday because of a uh, forecast of inclement weather. Um, but we do want uh, the senior class, of course, everyone. We get to broadcast so many games and broadcast uh, so many of these big moments, these young men and young women. And it's our pleasure to be here and to do that. So thank you uh, for allowing us to be here. And again, the administration, Dax Glover, Pete Howell have been really good to us. We congratulate to these young men. That's right, and young women. And a good reminder from Randall, we've got so many games available on DVD. And, of course, again, we remind you that you can get a copy of Senior Night specifically on DVD. Uh, again, the phone number is 662-454-9797. Again, we'll, on this DVD, have the girls' game, a win by Tishomingo County, 63-56 over Hickory Flat. We'll have the guys' game. And not just that, we'll have all these Senior Night festivities. I believe we've been going about 15 minutes now. We'll have all that on one DVD. Again, congratulations to our seniors. You see them posing right now. Photos being taken at the free throw line. And we're going to clear the floor here momentarily, and we're going to get ready for basketball action once again. Guys game between the Hickory Flat Rebels and the Fishing County Braves. That'll be coming up next on WRMG TV, 12 TV, and seven. Again, thank you to our sponsors. We'll take a momentary break, and uh, we'll have the Braves and the Rebels. That's next on WRMG TV 12, TV 97. You've been watching exclusive coverage of Senior Night 2019 for Tishomingo County Basketball, the dance team, and your cheerleaders on your home for the Braves, WRMG. Well, there's the Tishomingo County Braves on the court. We're about three minutes or so from the introduction of our starting lineups, but we do want to come back on and remind you that the Division I for a tournament will be held at this very high school. Tishomingo County selected as the host for the 2019 Division I for a tournament this year. We were at Corinth last year for the Division Tournament, uh, but this year it is Tishomingo County's turn in the rotation to host the Division Tournament. So here is the brackets pertaining to your Tishomingo County teams. Again, the Lady Braves will be in action on opening night. Braves will too, but the Lady Braves will play at 7 p.m on next Tuesday, February the 12th. That will be against the number six seed in the tournament, the Corinth Lady Warriors. So Tishomingo County and Corinth will be the uh, final girls game of the day. First girls game at four o'clock will be New Albany and by Helia. But Tishomingo County, Corinth girls, 7 p.m. Tuesday night, the winner advances to Thursday, February the 14th. They'll play Cenotopia. Cenotopia, the number two seed in this division tournament. The Braves of Tishomingo County will also be the three seed, just like the girls. Their opponent will be the number six seed, Cenotopia. And uh, the Braves and Cenotopia will play 8.30 p.m. after the girls uh, next Tuesday, February 12th. So an hour later, keep that in mind, that our normal start times of 6 and 7.30 will be 7 and 8.30 for those games. The first guys game of the day will be New Albany against Corinth at 5.30 p.m. Again, the big nose, uh, news here, if you win your first round game, you are guaranteed a spot in the state playoffs the following week. Whether you're on the road or you're at home depends on what you do on Thursday. But if you win Tuesday, the Lady Braves and Braves would both be assured of a spot in the state playoffs the next week. So big time uh, matchups postseason getting underway. Um, and again, the Braves, if they beat Center Toby on Tuesday, they would advance to a Thursday game also at 8.30 p.m. And they would play the Ripley Tigers, and uh, we've seen Ripley twice here on WRMG, and they've been two of the best games we've had all year long. So we're getting ready now for our guys matchup. Starting lineups coming to you momentarily, all brought to you by um, Mac Laman, your Tisha Mingle County Coroner, and also Payne Cummings, your Tisha Mingle County Chancery Clerk. Also, Carly Carman, attorney at law, 1723 West Quitman Street, Nyuka. Carly specializes in criminal defense, family law, wills, and estates, estate planning, and real estate closing, 662-593-3079. Thank you, David Wayne Crown, Tishomingo County Tax Assessor. Also, uh, well, we'll go ahead and we'll give you more sponsors in a moment. Here's your starting lineups for our guys game, Hickory Flat Rebels, Tishomingo County Braves.
Frazier starting lineup since we'll get the lights back on momentarily here in the Tishomingo County Gymnasium. And there they are, as I promised you. Let's go through those starting lineups one more time. First for Hickory Flat, same head coach for the girls and the guys at Hickory Flat, and that's Brent Cool. Here's his starting lineup, a junior number three, Wesley Green. Senior number five, Ty McGregor. Freshman number 10, Drew Wilson. Junior number 11, Lane Gordon. And also a junior number 24, Jonah Baker. For Tishomingo County, four seniors. The only four that Craig Daly has. Number 20, Braxton Pritchard. 24, Tucker Hill. 25, Tavia Stuckett. 33, Cameron Cummings in. Junior number 34, Connor Bonds. Here's our tip. It's up. Controlled by Tishomingo County. And we are underway. That's about the easiest tip that uh, Tucker Hill will win all year long. Hill, he'll pull for three, no good, way too strong. Rebound to Hickory Flat number two, Wesley Green. Here's Green, he'll drive baseline and he's fouled. A blocking foul call gonna go against Tavius Duckett. That will be Tavius's first personal team first of the game, first whistle against either team here in this ball game. We're just underway, 18 seconds into this contest. We're scoreless again. Thanks for being with us on Senior Night 2019. The girls game is in the books. Lady Braves the winner. Senior Night festivities are in the books as we honored our dance team, cheerleaders, and also our senior basketball players as well. Inbounds play for Hickory Flat will go into the hands of Lane Gordon. Gordon over to Wesley Green. Green now to 24. Jonah Baker. I believe Baker's wearing 25 tonight, so let's uh, make that denotation as well. Now here is uh, Baker again, bounce pass over. Now three on the way, no good. That's off the hands of, that's actually uh, Wesley Jonah Baker who shot that, so uh, I don't have a 25 on my roster. I'll get that again, there's Braxton Pritchard though for three. And uh, we'll get the Hickory Flat roster situation taken care of. Uh, as quickly as we can. Braves ahead 3-0 off the Braxton Pritchard three ball now. Running layup blocked from behind by Connor Bonds. Out of bounds, last touched by Bonds. It'll be Hickory Flat basketball. Our guys game this evening brought to you by Dr. James Perkins and staff at the IUK Animal Clinic. Highway 25 South Healthcare Grooming and Boarding for Your Pets and Animals. 662-423-3470 the inbounds pass is stolen away by Duckett. His pass though easily stolen away by Drew Wilson. Wilson will pull from three, no good. Rebound, Braxton Pritchard chases it down for the Braves. He gets it to Tavius Duckett. Braves lead three to zero, one plus minute into the contest. Bonds wide open for three, it drinks in. Off the rim, off the glass and into the hoop, Connor Bonds. Gives the Braves a 6-0 lead. Back-to-back -back threes from Pritchard and Connor Bonds. Now here's Drew Wilson. Wilson hands it off to Wesley Green. The foul is called against the Braves. Duckett may have picked up his second one quickly. And that's indeed the case. Two big early fouls on Tavius Duckett. Not even two minutes into the game, he'll head to the bench in favor of number five, Tanner Moss. So Moss replaces Duckett. Today's game also brought to you by the Spartan CPA. Six locations to serve you. They're in Red Bay, Iuka, Muscle Shoals, Florence, Boonville, and Corinth. Hickory Flat working quickly on the offensive side of things. The first meeting, uh, by the way, between these two teams, Tishomingo County defeated Hickory Flat 73-61. Uh, Is that three-point shot? No good off of the black bar over the goal. It's a dead ball. Tishomingo County will have possession. So again, Braves won the first matchup December 11th, 2018 by a score of 73-61. Moss was left wide open. Inside to Hill, his shot up. And before the shot, the foul will not count that. The foul against Hickory Flat will go against number 24, Jonah Baker. His first and the first in the game for the Rebels. Well, that was quick. Duck it back in much quicker than I anticipated and uh, he'll replace Cameron Cummings. Duckett already with two fouls, two plus minutes in. Now a beautiful inbounds play, Pritchard to Tucker Hill, and he is wide open, an easy lay in. Give the assist to Braxton Pritchard. Two points for Tucker Hill. Braves have started the game on an 8-0 run, leading by that score, eight to zero. Wesley Green lost possession and went out, out of his hands. A turnover, unforced error on Hickory Flat. It's Tishomingo County basketball. It's today's game being brought to you by State Farm Insurance agent Boyce Hollingsworth, 214 East Equipment Street, Nyuka. Auto, home, life, health, and retirement policy. See Boyce, 662-423-5931. Hill 
He'll drive toward the basket, now back out to Connor Bonds. Bonds to Tucker Hill. He'll try a three, no good. Rebound to Wesley Green of Hickory Flat. Rebels now on offense. By the way, we haven't gone through our uniform selections for tonight. Rebels are in their road uniforms, navy tops, navy shorts, white trimming down the side, red numerals on the front, and the back trimmed in whites, and then red lettering on the front that says Rebels. There's a three-point basket for Hickory, for Hickory Flats. And I believe, well, again, we'll get that momentarily. Duckett's on the inside. He'll get a nice little lay-in to fall. Tavius Duckett's. Four out of the five Braves starters have scored. The lone man to go, Cameron Cummings, and he's set to check back in at the next dead ball. Wesley Green as the Braves lead 10 to three. Over to number 11, Lane Gordon. Gordon will drive toward the hoop. He'll dish it back out to Drew Wilson. And now Hickory Flats to Jonah Baker. Trying to move the basketball efficiently. The shot up from Lane Gordon, no good. Rebound to Shemingo County. Here's Braxton Pritchard straight to the hoop, coast to coast, as easy as it gets. Braxton Pritchard has five now on his senior night. To Shemingo County, 12, Hickory Flat, 3, 4, 10 to go in our opening period. Hickory Flat on the opposite side now will be going to the free throw line for two shots. The foul committed by Tishomingo County's number five, Tanner Moss, his first team third. And uh, it will be free throws coming here for number two. Nope, they're going to stay on the floor. Well, I certainly thought that was in the act of shooting, and so did Brent Cool, the head coach for Hickory Flats. So Moss checks out, Cameron Cummings checks in. 12 to three, the score in favor of Tishomingo County. Hickory Flat has the basketball underneath its own bucket. Inbounds play for the Rebels. They're gonna say that he was out of bounds, and now they will say he stepped out of bounds, and it will be a turnover on the Rebels. Gatlin's Pharmacy is sponsoring our broadcast. See the pharmacist you know and trust, Mr. Stanley Page. See if he can save you money at Gatlin's Pharmacy, your health mom pharmacy in downtown Tishomingo, 662-438-6605. Halfway through our first period, Braves with a comfortable 12-3 lead early. Pritchard with a sweet move, and he pulls for three. No good. Rebound to the Rebels. Number 11, Lane Gordon. And Gordon will bring it across the time stripe for Hickory Flat. Now back to number two, Wesley Green. He hooks up his dribble at the free throw line. Back out to Drew Wilson. He'll try a three off the front iron, no good. Rebound to Cameron Cummings. Cummings now, he lacks uh, scoring. He'll pull up for a jumper from the free throw line and it will be no good. Hill with the put back in and good. Well, he'll have to be patient there. That bounced off the rim either two or three times. Took three bounces, definitely, including the glass. And the Braves now, after the Hill put back, will now lead for the first time by double figures, 14 to three. Now Hickory Flats shot no good from Drew Wilson. Rebound, Connor Bonds quickly ahead to Pritchard. Left hand lay in is in and good. Braxton Pritchard has seven. The Braves ahead 16 to three. Three minutes to go in our first period. Hickory Flats to 24, Jonah Baker. Baker now off, and it'll be in the hands of Drew Wilson. Thought about a long-range three, then thought definitely better of it. Now the three on the way from Wesley Green. It's in and good. First points of the game for Wesley Green. It's Tishomingo County, 16, Hickory Flat, 6, 2, 30 go in the opening quarter of play. Tavia stuck it now to Connor Bonds. Bonds. Hill had posted up on the inside. They did not go to him. They'll go to Cameron Cummings instead. Off balance, little shot, no good. Rebound, put back from Duckett, no good. This rebound into the hands of Drew Wilson. MTS is formerly Mississippi Tool Supply with safety apparel, high visibility vests, T-shirts, safety glasses, and earplugs made and sold in Belmont, 1-800-647-8168. Now Hickory Flat, a little while, a little behind the back shot from Drew Wilson, no good. Connor Bonds, the rebound for the Braves. Quickly ahead, Duckett's. Actually, the pass, I believe, tipped off the bottom of the backboard. So it's a turnover on the Braves. Now Hill with the steal, put in good. A bad decision on the pass from the Rebels. Tucker Hill intercepts the bounce pass and will, in the same motion, lay it into the hoop. 18-6, brings down another steal. Connor Bonds, he'll go on the fast break. Braxton Pritchard We will now pull for three. No good this time. Rebound to Drew Wilson for Hickory Flat, 1.22 to go, first period. Braves 18, Rebels six. Wilson will get a screen 
Now he'll pick up his man, Wesley Green. Wesley Green back out to Drew Wilson. We'll try to drive inside on Pritchard. Uncontested shot up, no good. Tucker Hill, the rebound for the Braves. Now he'll go ahead to Cummings. Cummings is fouled. And that's a hard fall there from Drew Wilson. And uh, he's still on the ground. Hopefully is fine. And they're going to come check on him. The foul's going to go against Drew Wilson. His first, team second. And that was a hard fall there. And now athletic trainers will tend to him. Coach Craig Daly's going out, and now uh, that young man is in some pain. We're going to give you some uh, sponsors real quick as we wait on them to check on that young man. BJ Supermarkets for our today's game, Highway 365 South in Burnsville, up seven days a week. Your hometown store, the price is low, 52 weeks every year. Hometown Pizza in Iuka, 621 Battleground Drive, Regina and James with your owners with pasta, pizza, cheese sticks, wing, and, and hoagies, and also now offering a crustless pizza for daughters who don't like so much bread. 662-593-3036. Thank you, Triple D's Bucket Service. Barney, Brandon, and Dustin Dick will try their best to meet your high-reach needs. That includes trimming and removing trees, the brim of a stump grinding, and cleaning steeples as well. 662-279-7500. Very thankful to see that young man up on his own power. That's number 10, Drew Wilson. We've called his name several times here in this first quarter. Got a very well-deserved round of applause from the Tishomingo County faithful. The Braves will have the basketball underneath their own bucket once we resume play here momentarily. And uh, they're actually now going to check the scorebook here. And uh, not certain what question they may be asking. But they're going to go to the official bookkeeper now during this dead ball situation. They're going to get some things sorted out. Today's game brought to you by Burnsville Tire, the home of round tires and square deals. Drivers like you have relied on them for auto repairs and more since 1988. And you should too. Thank you, IUCA Monument Company. Next to IUCA Discount Drugs, the highest quality at a reasonable price. 662-423-3203. And we've got a technical foul. I believe the situation may be what I've been saying with the whole game. I don't have a 25 on my roster uh, for Hickory Flat, and I think that the official scorebook keeper has uh, notified the officials of that. There was no 25 listed on the Hickory Flat roster, so the Braves will be shooting free throws off of a technical foul, and that technical will be issued to the Hickory Flat bench, not against the coach, not against a specific player. Uh, just a technical foul on the team. So Hill will shoot technical foul free throws. It's up and it's in and good. These are the first free throw attempts of the game for either team. Hill now with seven points. One more free throw coming for Tucker Hill off the technical foul, and it's no good. So Hill makes one of two. Braves line on lead 19-6, and they'll get the ball at midcourt following the technical foul. 59.6 seconds to go, by the way, now in the first period. Again, the score to Shemingo County, 19, Hickory Flat, 6. It must play goes to Braxton Pritchard. He'll pull from three, no good, off the side of the rim. A rebound, Tavia stuck it offensively. Back out to Tucker Hill. He'll try an NBA range style, and it good! Tucker Hill is in double figures once again in the first quarter. He's got 10. Braves lead 22 to 6 on senior night. Jeremiah Thompson is checked into the ball game for Wilson. His pass tipped out of bounds by Tavia Stuck. And we'll keep it right here with Hickory Flat. 35.8 seconds to go in the first period. Today's game brought to you by John Dennis Dart to your Tishomingo County Sheriff by El Picante Mexican Restaurant number one. Open every day 11 a.m. until 10 p.m. at 1727 West Equipment Street, 662-423-7224. And now still Tucker Hill is laying in and good off the assist from Braxton Pritchard. Tucker Hill now with 12 points. Braves ahead 24-6, 20 seconds to go in the opening period. It's been all Tishomingo County in this one. Wesley Green, handoff to 23. And uh, that's Cameron Norman, shot up no good. Connor Bonds, the rebound now quickly, ahead into the front court. Tucker Hill, shot up, in good one! In good, he absorbs the contact, gets the hoop, and a chance on an old fashioned three point play. The foul goes against Hickory Flat. Number 11, Lane Gordon, his first team third. With 3.9 seconds to go in the opening period, Bre uh, Tucker Hill, 14 points, chance on an old fashioned three point play to make it 15. Here's the free throw, it's up and it's in and good. 15 points in the opening period for Hill. Here comes the final play, a half-court shot coming. No good. That'll be the end of the first quarter of play. The score, Tishomingo County 27, Hickory Flat 6. The Braves with a commanding lead in this one. And again, your score. 
Braves leading Hickory Flat 27 to six. Let's go on now to the second quarter of play brought to you by Parsons Earthworks. Call Parsons for all your drainage systems, excavating, gravel, dirt, dozier work, and foundation work, 662-424-0159, 662-279-9809. Thank you as well, Nunley Tricky Company, Herman and Darren Nunley and their entire staff, 662-424-0080. Tonight's game also brought to you by Gina McNatt, your Tishomingo County tax collector. Thank you, Milligan Ready Mix, Old 25 North Nine. You can with mulch, landscaping, rock, curb stops, and much more. 662-423-6238. Arwell, parts and supply, your car quest dealer, 1102 West Equipment Street, Nyuka. Stop by and let Chad and his staff take care of your parts and supply needs. Phone number 662-423-9892. Hometown Pizza in Burnsville, 343 Highway 72 in the East Burnsville Shopping Plaza. Don't forget their buffets Monday through Friday, 11 to 1. Sunday, 11 to 2. And that price, $9 on Sunday, $8 during the weekdays for carried order 662-360-4019. Braves leading by 21 as we begin the second quarter here on WRMG TV, 12 TV, 97 in, uh, inside to Cameron Cummings, his layup in and good. Well, he's the last starter to score in the game. Gets the assist from Tucker Hill. Cummings, his first bucket gives the Braves a 29-6 lead. Now Norman is stripped of the basketball. Saved though a nice play by Jeremiah Thompson for the Rebels. Now Hickory Flats, Wesley Green gets it to Jeremiah Thompson, who saved the possession for the Rebels moments ago. His shot is in and good. Jeremiah Thompson, his first points. Rebels now trailing to Shemingo County, 29 to 8. Again, we're just underway in the second period, two hours into our broadcast coverage of Tishomingo County Senior Night 2019. I'm Blake Long, Randall Lindsay on our camera this evening. Again, big, big thanks to Denise Ivy back in Control Central for keeping us on the air all night long on TV 97 with live audio and also WRMGRadio.com at the TCHS Sports Link. Shot blocked by Tucker Hill, and he'll get the rebound as well ahead to Connor Bonds. Bonds lay up, no good. Rebound to Jeremiah Thompson for Hickory Flat. Again, we got live audio this evening, TV replay on YouTube. Search for Jack Ivey on TV 97 throughout the week. And also on uh, our TV replay will be seen on a DVD copy. If you wanted to catch today's game on DVD, again, you can get that 662-454-9797. Again, copies of today's game on DVD, 662-454-9797. Foul on Tishomingo County, number 33. Cameron Cummings picks up his first team fourth. Two free throws coming here. Uh, this is 34, Tyler Bryant shooting two. Free throw is up, and it's in and good. One more coming here for the Rebels. 29-9 the score now, 6.25 to go before halftime. Shot is true as well. Tyler Bryant, that's the first two free throw attempts of the uh, ball game for the Rebels. Tishomingo County 29, Hickory Flat 10. Clock running here. In the second period. Today's game brought to you by Randy Stringer, your chief of police in the city of Iuka. Bonds to Cummings. Cummings, patient now are the Tishomingo County Braves. Tavius stuck it over now into the hands of Tucker Hill. Hill had the ball poked out twice, out of bounds, touched by the Rebels. Cameron Norman with the defense for Hickory Flat. Thank you, Tiffin Motor Homes, featuring this great Allegro home sponsoring the game. Also, a soil liquidation in Belmont. Find mattresses at the lowest prices around with living room, bedroom, dining room, furniture, tools, cool gel pillows, and much more. You can take Highway 25 South to Dickinson Road across from the Tiffin's entrance in Belmont for Explore Liquidation. Three from Hill, no good. Rebound, Hickory Flat, number 11, Lane Gordon. Now the Rebels shot up. Wow, nice move, but does not get the result from Wesley Green. Rebound to Shemingo County. Pritchard ahead now to Cameron Cummings. Shot up in and good. Cameron Cummings, his fourth point now. Another assist for Braxton Pritchard to Shemingo County, 31. Hickory flat 10. Rebels driving. Shot up again from Wesley Green. No good. Cameron Cummings, the board for the Braves. And now Cummings nearly had it stolen away. Good job there and hustle from Wesley Green. We'll keep it with Tishomingo County as Tanner Moss checks back into the ball game, and he'll give Tucker Hill a breather. Hill, by the way, the leading scorer in the ball game right now with 15 points, those in the first period. Bonds inbounds to number 20. That's Braxton Pritchard. As we tell you, today's game brought to you by the Tishomingo County Electric Power Association. They are a member of TVAZ program. They'll come and do an energy audit of your home. For more information, 662 Four two three three six four six. Braxton Pritchard, his shot rolls all the way around the rim. No good. Gets his own rebound. This shot will fall after rolling around the rim a couple of times as well. 
Braxton Pritchard, he's got nine in the contest to my count. 33-10, Braves leading Hickory Flats. Second quarter action rolling along here. Now the Rebels gonna try and slow this thing down a bit. Wesley Green will give it off now to Jeremiah Thompson. He'll drive to the free throw line, pull up a jumper, it's no good. Rebound to Tavia Stuckett of the Braves. Now ahead quickly, Braxton Pritchard. A jumper from beside the free throw line is short. Rebound, still loose, out of bounds. Less touched by the Braves. 4.35 to go before halftime. Tishomingo County 33, Hickory Flat 10. Today's game brought to you by Piggly Wiggly and Iuka, Belmont and Red Bay. Lowest prices, hometown friendly service. As uh, 24, Jonah Baker back in the game for the Rebels. Today's game also brought to you by Grace Lawn Real Estate that can help you sell your home. 662-423-5555. See Grace and her staff, they'll work hard for you. Also, thank you H&R Block and Iuka Red Bay and Fulton, your techs, professionals. Rebels on offense, Jeremiah Thompson. His pass tipped and stolen away by Connor Bonds. Great defense for Bonds going coast to coast. He's fouled. Layup was no good, though. Two free throws coming for Tishomingo County as the foul delivered by Jeremiah Thompson of Hickory Flat. His first, team fifth. And Connor Bonds, he's got three points in the game. These are his first free throw attempts coming momentarily. Braves are about to bring Tucker Hill back in the game. Also, we'll see for the first time, number 10, Justin Glidewell, first free throw in and good for Connor Bonds. Folks, don't forget, Sid Whitehurst and Sister the Company is your home for Coyote tractors, Skag mowers, Bushhawk zero turn mowers, the Landmaster utility vehicle, and also Branson tractors. If you've got a Bushhawk mower dig, get her dead at Sid's. Second free throw for Connor Bonds is in and good. Braves net lead is now 35 to 10 as we approach the halfway point of this second period on senior night. This game. Right now, a lot more comfortable than for the Lady Braves. Bounce pass over to Tyler Bryant for Hickory Flat. Now in the hands of Jeremiah Thompson. He'll pull a jumper. It's no good. Rebound. Still loose eventually into the hands of Hickory Flat's Cameron Norman. Norman is fouled against, uh, I believe they're going to say 34. No offensive foul. Wow, okay. So an offensive foul will be called on the Rebels, number 34. And that's Tyler Bryant, his first, team sixth. Did not see that offensive foul, I'll be perfectly honest, but uh, a turnover on the Rebels nonetheless as the ball goes out of bounds on the other end. Braves will keep possession, and it will be Justin Glidewell triggering the basketball in for the Braves. Glidewell will pass it in to Tanner Moss. Moss will drive toward the basket, kick it back out to Glidewell. Glidewell picks up his dribble back to Braxton Pritchard. Pritchard will now pull up a contested shot. It is no good. Rebound, Tanner Moss, his shot blocked. Rebound to the Rebels, number 24, Jonah Baker. Baker into the front court now being double teamed, nay triple team momentarily. Now number 34, Tyler Bryant, his shot in and good. Tyler Bryant, his fourth point of the contest. Rebels trail to Shemingo County, 35 to 12. Now Tanner Moss will get two points in and good. Moss, his first points, Braves ahead 37-12 with three minutes to go in the second period. Hickory Flats on the offensive end, Cameron Norman, his off balance shot, no good. Connor Bonds, the rebound for Tishomingo County. Braves in their home whites, he'll pull a three, Bonds will. It's in and out, no good, rebound. Moss had it momentarily, finally into the hands of Tyler Bryant for the Rebels. Now Cameron Norman, he'll pull a jumper. It's no good. Rebound offensively once again for the Rebels to Jonah Baker. He'll try a three. No good. Rebound tipped out of bounds. And it's last touched by, looks like Hickory Flat. Subs for both teams. For the Braves, it'll be Tavia Stuckett and Cameron Cummings checking back in the ball game. And it'll be Hickory flat ball. They're going to say last touched by Tishomingo County. Wow. I thought I heard there was no point of the hand. I thought I heard him say it was white ball, so, but the Rebels will have it underneath their own basket. Folks, so shouldn't financial advice focus on you, your goals, your dreams? Your modern woman of America representative can help you plan for all stages of life, from protection to saving to retirement. Uh, call Ronnie Cook at 662-423-8477 to start the conversation. Moss is slow to get up, and now we will have a timeout, and uh, they're going to have to check him. He's holding his head. He may have to go and uh, get seen about for a, you know, as a safety as you are with uh, somebody holding their head. 
and the trainer's going to walk over and see him as he exits the game in favor of number 12, Austin Booker. Um, they may check him out and just make sure he's good and don't want to see any concussion-type symptoms. 2.08 to go, second period. Hill pulls for three, bang it and good. Tucker Hill, 18 on his senior night, braves ahead 40-12, to 12, under two minutes to go in our first half of play. Number two, Wesley Green will dribble with the right hand. And now double team, and he'll get it back out to Tyler Bryant. Now cross court to Jonah Baker. Baker pulls up his dribble into the hands now once again of Tyler Bryant. Bryant drives toward the baseline. Now back out, pass was tipped by Booker, and now into the backcourt. That's a backcourt violation on Hickory Flat. Another unforced error on the Rambles. That's a turnover. Tishomingo County basketball with 1.33 to go in the second period. Jamie Stewart is your North Half Constable in Tishomingo County, also sponsoring today's game. El Picante Mexican Restaurant number two, open 1103 Battleground Drive at Iuka, 662-423-3708. Hill from NBA Range as well, short rebound. Duckett He's put back in and good, and he's fouled. An and one opportunity for Duckett. The foul against Tickery Flat, number 34, Tyler Bryant. His second team, seventh. Duckett's now with four points, a chance at an old-fashioned three-point play. It's his first free-throw opportunity of the contest as the Braves have stretched their lead to 30 points, 42 to 12. Here's the free-throw. It is no good. Rebound chased down by Cameron Cummings. The Braves have shown good hustle. Hill, he's fouled from behind on a three-point shot. We'll have three free-throws coming after the foul from number 11 from Hickory Flat, Lane Gordon. His second team eighth, and Hill will shoot three free-throws with 1.19 to go in the second period. If he makes two, then Tucker Hill will have 20 points in the first half alone. Here's the free throw, and it's in and good. It's one out of three free throws coming up for Hill. Thank you, John's Garage, JNS Auto Sales, 482 Highway, 365 South in Burnsville. Their services include used cars, trucks, and SUVs. Also, complete auto repair, computer diagnostics, and air conditioning services, 662-427-8298, johnsgarage.net. Second free throw for Hill, true as well. Here comes the third, and it is good. Tucker Hill has 21 points in the first half, and he's going to be replaced by Eli Sanderson, number 22, for the Braves. We're going to play at this final 117 here in the second quarter. Tishomingo County, 45, Hickory Flats, 12, and the Rebels will be a slow with the basketball here. Tone up Baker. Only starters in the game now are Duckett and Cummings. You've also got Sanderson, Glidewell, and Booker for the Braves. Under a minute now to go here in our first half. Braves leading 45-12. And now an offensive foul. As the foul will go against uh, Wesley Green for Hickory Flat, his first team ninth. Great charge taken there by Justin Glidewell, who you see on your TV screen right now, bringing the basketball up the floor for Tishomingo County. Glidewell, bounce pass over to number 12, Austin Booker. Booker gets a screen, and he'll go inside to Glidewell. Shot up, in and good. Assist to Austin Booker. The shot in and good from Justin Glidewell. Tishomingo County, 47, Hickory Flat, 12. 30 seconds to go in our opening half. The Rebels on offense. It'll be number 11, Lane Gordon, and he's in trouble. He gets it inside for the Rebels, and the shot is up. No good. Offensive rebound for the Rebels and a foul as Jonah Baker will go to the free throw line after he gets the offensive rebound. 22 with the foul. Eli Sanderson picks up his first. That's team foul number five on the Braves in the first half. Baker looking for his first points. Two shots coming up for Hickory Flat while he's shooting. Today's game brought to you by IU Discount Drugs. Thank you, Chris Cornelius and Kurt, L but Kurt Butler, Lee Griffin, their entire staff, 662-423-9039. Also, Northeast Mississippi Community College, one of the top 25 community colleges in the nation, and their men's basketball team nationally ranked at number 23 in the nation as of today's latest NJCAA national poll. Come see the Tigers in action on Thursday, the 7th of February, and also their home finale on the 21st of February against East Mississippi. You can visit NEMCCathletics.com for more information about the nationally ranked Tigers. One second, final shot is up, no good, and your halftime score, Tishomingo County 47, Hickory Flat 14. The Braves outscore the Rebels 20-8 to eight in the second period and take a 47-14 lead to the locker room. 
We'll go ahead and take our break. We're going to go ahead and uh, we'll go be back here in a few minutes to go over your stats and more. This is Tishomingo County Basketball Senior Night 2019. Our coverage on WRMG TV 12, TV 97, and WRMGradio.com. Halftime score to Shemingo County 47, Hickory Flat 44. Let's do your halftime stats now. Um, that's brought to you by, uh, again, IU could discount drugs. Again, thank you, Northeast Mississippi Community College. Halftime stats brought by Dr. James Perkins and the staff at the IU Animal Clinic. Located at Highway 25 South Healthcare Grooming and Boarding for Your Pets. 662-423-3470. Thank you, David Wayne Crum, Tishomingo County Tax Assessor. Carly Carman, Attorney at Law at uh, 1723 West Quitman Street, specializing in criminal defense, family law, uh, wills and estates, estate planning, and real estate closing. 662-593, 662-593-3079. Thank you as well to Mac Wallman, Tishomingo County Coroner, and also Peyton Cummings, your Tishomingo County Chancery Clerk. Here are your halftime stats now, and we'll start first with your Tishomingo County Braves, and you've got to start first when you talk about the Braves this evening. Tucker Hill, 21 first half points to that young man. He's the only double-digit scorer at this point in the game. Braxton Pritchard, not far off. He'll get there, nine points to that young man on his senior night. Also, uh, five points for Connor Bonds, four points apiece for the duo of Tavius Duckett and Cameron Cummings, and then two points for the duo of Tanner Moss and Justin Glidewell. And that is a total of 47 points at halftime. Hickory Flats, we've got the situation and uh, names figured out. Four points for Tyler Bryant, three points apiece for Wesley Green, and number 25, who we did not have, that was a jersey change, Ty McGregor. He was listed as number five uh, in our uh, roster provided to us. So three points for Wesley Green, Ty McGregor, two points apiece for the duo of Jeremiah Thompson and Jonah Baker. And uh, if you recall the technical foul that was issued in the first quarter, uh, that was because uh, uh, officially the word is Jeremiah Thompson was not listed in the book. And, uh, again, every coach has a chance to sign the book before the game, the official book, and the officials bring it over to all the coaches. And uh, he signed it. Thompson was not listed. Neither was his jersey number. So Hickory Flat was assessed a technical foul because of that. And if you remember, Tucker Hill cashed in with one of two free throws off that technical foul. So leading scores at halftime for both teams, Tucker Hill, 21 for him and for Hickory Flat, their leading score, Tyler Bryant with four points in the first half. That's your halftime stats brought to you by Spark CPA, six locations to serve you in Red Bay, Iuka, Muscle Shoals, Florence, Boonville, and Corinth. Thank you as well to Boyce Hollingsworth, your State Farm Insurance agent at 214 East Whitman Street in Iuka, 662-423-5931. Gatlin's Pharmacy, see the pharmacist you know and trust, Mr. Stanley Page, see if he can save you money at Gatlin's Pharmacy. That's your health bomb pharmacy in downtown Tishomingo, 662-438-6605. And also sponsoring our halftime stats, MTS, formerly Mississippi Tool Supply, safety apparel, vests, T-shirts, safety glasses, and earplugs, made and sold in Belmont, 1-800-64781-68. We are back underway here, second half action on WRMG TV, 12 TV 97, as we wrap up senior night here from the campus of Tishomingo County High School. Hickory Flats will have these five on the floor to begin the second half, and here's the first one. Wesley Green for three, no good. Rebound to Pritchard. Also, the Rebels will have number 11, Lane Gordon, number 10. Good to see him back on the floor. Drew Wilson, who had that, he was shaken up badly in the first half. Also, 24, Jonah Baker, and 25, Ty McGregor. Here's a shot from Cummings, in and good. Braves looks like they're starting five on the floor. Tucker Hill, Tavius Duckett, Cameron Cummings, who just scored. Connor Bonds and Braxton Pritchard, so it is the starting five for Craig Daly to begin the second half. Braves ahead now, 49-14. Again, we're about a minute into our second half. Shot in and good for number 11, Lane Gordon, for the Rebels. That's his first bucket of the contest. Tishomingo County, 49, Hickory Flat, 16. We're uh, just over a minute now into our third quarter of play. Duckett back to Connor Bonds. Bonds to Pritchard, and we will have a foul on the floor. Charge to Hickory Flat, number two, Wesley Green. His second, first whistle against either team here in the second half. Braves will inbound on the far side of the court from us here. And it'll be Connor Bonds into Tavia, uh, pardon me, to Braxton Pritchard. 
Let's tell you uh, quickly, today's game brought to you by B&J Supermarket in Burnsville, Highway 365 South. Don't forget, though, your home for fresh produce, awesome meat and dairy department. They accept your Visa, MasterCard, and EBT food stamps. The foul will go against Hickory Flat. Number 10, Drew Wilson. That's his second, team second. And it will be free throws coming here for Tucker Hill, looking to uh, expand upon his uh, impressive night already. 21 points through the first half. Here's Hill for two more shots. First one is no good off the back iron. One more free throw coming as we tell you hometown pizza in IU because it's 621 Battleground Drive at current location only. But don't forget their pizza, pasta, cheese sticks, wings, hoagies, and of course, don't forget that 20 inch party pizza as well. 662 593 3036. Tucker Hill makes his second. He's now got 22 points in the ballgame. 50 to 16 your score as Tishomingo County leaves. Now, a shot, block, big block from Tucker Hill. That was a battle of the 24s. Jonah Baker for our Hickory Flat hit a shot block by Tucker Hill. Hill got the rebound as well for Tishomingo County. Hill dishes it now to Connor Bonds. Bonds to the free throw line to Tavia stuck it inside to Hill. He shot in and good and one. Tucker Hill. If he wanted to put a highlight reel together on one night, uh, he could certainly do it with his impressive performance this evening. He gets the hoop plus the harm. The third team foul on Hickory Flat will shoot one more free throw coming here. Hill can make it 25 on the night, and he does. Tucker Hill makes the score 53-16, and he's got nearly half of them for the Braves, 25 on the night. The lone Brave in double figures right now. Now Hickory Flat on the offensive end. Wesley Green to the hoop. His off-balance shot no good. Rolled around the rim. Rebound to Connor Bonds of Tishomingo County. Bonds, as the Braves are still moving quick. His little floater is no good. Duckett, the offensive rebound. His putback is in and good. Tavia Duckett now with six on the contest. 55-16, Braves have their largest lead of the game. Today's game brought to you by Triple D's Bucket Service. Our friends Barney, Brandon, and Dustin Dick will meet all your high reach needs. That includes trimming and removing trees, debris removal, stump grinding, and cleaning steeples. 662-279-7500. Now the Rebels, the wide open layup, number two, Wesley Green. He's got five in the contest now. That's the most for any Hickory Flat player. Tishomingo County, 55, Rebels, 18. Remember, folks, if you're looking for tires, Burnsville Tire is the right place to call. They carry a variety of uh, passenger and light truck tires from top brands, including Mastercraft, Firestone, and Goodyear. Don't forget they've also got the specialty tires you need. And uh, everything to get it done is Tucker Hill. Is fouled on a three, a chance at a four-point play. And the foul goes against number 24, Jonah Baker, his second. And Tucker Hill, he's now got 28, a chance at a four-point play. He did this a couple of weeks ago. I think it was against New Albany that he got fouled on a three-point make and uh, also completed the free throw. Let's see if he can do it again. A rare play here, but Hill going for a four-point opportunity. Here's the free throw, and he will cash in on it. Four-point play for Tucker Hill. He's got 29, by the way. Again, let's thank Burnsville Tire. But won't forget they've got all the specialty tires you need to get everything done. Choose from farm, ATV, lawn, garden, or commercial tires for even the toughest vehicles. Game also brought to you by Ida Monument Company. The highest quality and a reasonable price, 662-423-3203. And the Rebels just stood at midcourt for about 20 seconds. I think they're ready to get back on the bus and head back to uh, – their home school as Duckett's to Cummings in and good. Duckett, he wanted another assist. Cameron Cummings with the basket. He's got eight in the ball game. Tishomingo County 61, Hickory flat 18. And again, the Rebels will walk it across the time stripe and uh, will run almost a four-corner style offense here against the Braves, trying to spread the floor out. And now they'll go toward the basketball, strip it into the hands of Wesley Green. He's fouled. The foul will go against uh I believe Tavius Duckett, and that's the case. That's his third, team first, and it's on the floor. 4.08 to go in the third period of play. The Rebels trailing to Shemingo County, 61 to 18. Trying to think where Hickory Flat, what county that'd be, and I guess that'd be Marshall County uh, over near the Holly Springs area. It's just west of New Albany and Myrtle uh, on the interstate headed toward Memphis on I-22. 
Inbounds play, and now a five-second violation. Nothing at all going the way of Hickory Flat in this game, and uh, give credit for that to Tisha Mingo County. The defense has been superb, and the Braves shooting has been lights out in this game, specifically Tucker Hill. He's got 29. What a night he'd have to have a 30-point game on his senior night. Bonds now to Tanner Moss. Moss will give it back to Hill. Here's for the 30-point game. He got it! Tucker Hill with 32 points in the game. A special night for that young man. Braves lead 64 to 18. Clock running 342, but how about that? With 339 to go, Tucker Hill has himself a 30 point game on senior night. Now a three from the Rebels is in and good. Lane Gordon, he's got now five points in the game. Rebels deficit now 421. Tucker Hill again! Fade away three from in front of the Braves bench. 35 for Tucker Hill, and the Braves lead 67-21. I can't believe the night Tucker Hill is having. An unbelievable performance for that young man. This is one he will not forget. Shot up from the Rebels is no good. Rebound saved in by Connor Bonds. And now it's going to go out of bounds. Last touched, I believe, by Tishomingo County. Indeed, that's the case. 2.59 to go in the third quarter. Braves lead 67-21, and Duckett's going to check back in to replace Cameron Cummings. Thank you. Uh, we'll get our sponsors in at least one more time during our ball game. John Dinastarti, Tishomingo County Sheriff. Thank you as well. El Picante Mexican Restaurant, number one, 1727 West Whitman Street, Iuca, 662-423-7224. Parsons Earthworks handles your drainage systems, excavating gravel, dirt, and dozier work needs, and foundation work as well. 662-424-0159, 662-279-9809. And now there's a turnover on the Braves. And Pete Howell there on the defensive mindset as a Hill was coming towards him. And the Rebels are going to clear their bench now, it looks like. Uh, let's see if we can get these young men recognized on our broadcast. Here comes number 12, Patrick Thompson for the first time. Also back in the game, Jeremiah Thompson, number 15. Number 20, Alex Tatum in for the first time. 23, Cameron Norman has checked in as well, as has 34. Tyler Bryant, a fresh five for Hickory Flats Rebels. Today's game also brought to you by Nunley Trucking Company. Herman and Darren Nunley, their entire staff, 662-424-0080. Smith's shot. Rebound goes out of bounds, last touched by the Rebels. Cameron Cummings back in for the Braves. And uh, let's see, he's going to replace Braxton Pritchard. Tonight's game being brought to you by Gina McNatt, your Tishomingo County tax collector. Also, Milligan Rennie makes the old 25 North and Iuka with Pet Monuments, Stepping Stones, and Military Stones as well. 662 423 6238. Auto Parts and Supply, your car quest dealer, and I, you can stop by and let Chad and his staff take care of your parts and supply needs at, six, at 1102 uh, West Equipment Street. Now you can 662-423-9892. I'm going to drop my sponsor list as Tucker Hill has made it again. He's got 38 points going for a 40. Hill gets the rebound here. Let's see if he pulls. I would. He's as hot as anybody. He will pull. Holy cow! He can't miss! Tucker Hill... 41 points, unbelievable, Braves lead 73-21. Could he get 50? I don't know if we'll get a chance to see that as the ball tipped out of bounds, a turnover on Hickory Flats. We're gonna have four Braves in the game and they're gonna keep Tucker Hill in the game. Let's see if he can get 50. Justin Glidewell in the game. Also, uh, Trey Mitchell. Eli Sanderson and Tanner Moss. Booker, I believe. Let's see, and it will be, uh, no, they are going to take, uh, no, Hill will be in the game. No, he's not. He's out of the game now. And it will be Glide will check again. So Tucker Hill does check out of the game, and uh, he will check out with 41 points. Oh, my. I believe 41 is the most I've broadcast, and now I've been doing this for, what, five years, Randall, for the Braves? Five for football, four for basketball, as uh, the uh, Rebels will have the ball underneath their own basket on the out-of-bounds play. And I think 41 is the most I've ever seen scored in a, in a game broadcasting for Tishomingo County. I remember Tyler Pritchard. This would have been his senior night 10 years ago tonight. Hard to believe. Of course, that's the older brother of Braxton Pritchard. I saw him score 50 points on this floor one night against Central High School from Florence, Alabama. Um, and that's the most I've seen scored on this floor. Tucker Hill has 41 tonight. Not saying that's a school record or anything, but the most I've seen on this floor 
uh, was 50 and uh, from Tyler Pritchard. Under a minute to play in the third quarter, it's Tishomingo County 73, Hickory Flat 21. And uh, folks, I promise you this, it's just been lights out shooting from the Braves. Hill with 41 points in the ball game. Braves now much more patient on offense with their second string in. Going inside to Justin Glide will back out now on a three on the way from Austin Booker. Isn't it good? I'm not certain the Braves have missed a shot here in the third quarter. At least it doesn't feel that way. I know they have. A little sarcasm intended there. 76-21 now. Hickory flat back on the offensive side. Shot up. No good. We've got a foul. Two free throws coming for the Rebels. The foul will go against Tishomingo County's number 22, Eli Sanderson, his second, team second of the second half. Two free throws here with 18.9 seconds to go in the third quarter for number 34. This is Tyler Bryant, who's already two for two at the free throw line. Make it three for three. This game also brought to you by Hometown Pizza in Burnsville, 343 Highway 72 in the East Burnsville Shopping Plaza. Home-owned, home-operated your hometown pizza, and don't forget their Cherokee, Alabama location as well. And Burnsville, the phone number is 662-360-4019. And again, thank you to Harwell Parts and Supply, 662-423-9892. Thank you, Chad and staff. Both free throws in and good for Tyler Bryant. Now Glide will try three. It's no good. Rebound, uh, Eli Sanderson, and it goes off the fingertip of uh, Tanner Moss. And it'll be a turnover on the Braves. 3.8 seconds to go in our third period. Thank you, Randy Stringer, Chief of Police in the city of Iuka, and also Chief of Mother Homes featuring those great Allegro Homes. Half-court shot for the Rebels. Oh, nearly good. Nearly had a bar. Nunley type shot there off the hand of Jeremiah Thompson. But we have played three quarters in the books. The Braves had 47 at the end of the second quarter. They had 29 points in that period. The Rebels... Scored nine. Braves out scored the Rebels 29 to nine in the third quarter. And as we head to the fourth period of play, your score, Tishomingo County 76, Hickory Flat 23. Remember that Corinth girls game here back before Christmas break when the Lady Braves won 81-18. Uh, this is not a typo either. It's 76-23 with three quarters in the books. Let's go to the fourth. Brought to you by Explore Liquidation in Belmont. Your home for bargains, all merchandise from name brand retailers. You can save 50 to 75% daily by checking out their eBay store as well at Explore Liquidations Online. Thank you to Shemingo County Electric Power Association, a member of TVAZ program. TVA will come and do an energy audit of your home, 662-423-3646. Thank you as well, Pig Living, Live Iuka, Belmont and Red Bay, lowest prices, hometown friendly service. Thank you, Grace Long Real Estate, they can help you sell your home, 662-423-5555. H&R Block and Iuka, Red Bay and Fulton is your tax professionals. Don't forget, Sid Whitehurst, Sears Trinity Company, if you've got a bush shock mower dig, get it in at Sid's, they've got the Coyote tractors, Skag mowers, those Bushhawk Zero Turn mowers, the Landmaster utility vehicle, and also Branson tractors at Sid's Trading Company. Well, we're back to action here in the fourth quarter. Braves missed their first shot off a layup attempt from Trey Mitchell. Rebound to Hickory Flat. Now the Rebels are on the offensive end. And here is the shot. It's up and no good from 23, Cameron Norman. Rebound to the Braves. Braves will have number one, Trey Mitchell. Number 10, Justin Glidewell. Number 12, Austin Booker, Eli Sanderson who just made that three-point basket. And I'm also missing uh, number one, five, Tanner Moss. That's the five on the floor to begin the fourth quarter for your Tishomingo County Braves. And Eli Sanderson drains a three, 79-23 the score. Now the Rebels trying to respond. No good on the three from number 20, Alex Tatum. Rebound to the Braves. Glidewell now on the offensive end finds Tanner Moss. He'll put up a layup attempt and in good. Give Justin Glidewell the assist. Tanner Moss now with four points. Tishomingo County 81, Hickory Flat 23. What a performance on senior night. By the way, we're over two and a half hours into our broadcast coverage. I'm Blake Long, Randall Lindsay on the camera. And again, Mr. Denise Ivy back in Control Central in Red Bay. It's been a whale of a night for the Braves and Lady Braves. We had an outstanding girls game. Lady Braves winners 63-56. And the Braves have taken care of business here. They're in prime form with division tournament play just one week away. And how about that? Count the basket and and one for Patrick Thompson. And uh, that'll be the third team foul in the second half on the Braves and uh, the clock by the way has not stopped we have a running clock here in the fourth quarter as it'll be Patrick Thompson to the free throw line for one shot this game is brought to you by Ronnie Cook and Modern Rhythm of America to plan for your financial future and learn about member benefits get to know your Modern Rhythm representative he's Ronnie Cook 662-423-8477 free throw was good by Thompson by the way score now 81-26 in favor of Tishomingo County put back in and good 
Trey Mitchell with his first points of the contest to Shemingo County leading 83 to 26. Today's game brought to you by Jamie Stewart. Your North Half Constable to Shemingo County. Thank you, El Picante Mexican Restaurant number two. Open at 1103 Battleground Drive, 662-423-3708. Now, wow! Pull up three off the steal. Austin Booker, he's got six in the game. He got the steal, then he decided instead of going to the hoop, he was going to pull up for three. Braves lead now by 60 points, 86, 26, and no. That's not, a, I'm not misspeaking on that either. A 60 point lead for the Braves. You do not see that often, sports fans. Shot up, no good. Offensive rebound put back, no good as well from Cameron Norman. He gets another rebound, and now it's taken away. No, we have a jump ball. Possession here. We'll keep it here with Hickory Flight as the Braves will bring in five new players. And we'll give you as many names as we possibly can. Some of these will be a JV players not on the roster we've been provided. Um, let's see, among the new guys in the game, here's Tucker Hill checking back in the ball game. One, one of the guys back in. Let's see if Tucker can hit 50. That's what I, what a senior night that would be to see Tucker Hill reach 50 points. You've also got, a, I believe, Tyreek Duckett, number two, is one of the new subs. Also number three, that's Jake Russell. Now a shot in and good, 34, Tyler Bryant, he's got eight. He's the high scorer for the Hickory Flat Rebels in this game. Tishomingo County 86, Hickory Flat 28. Here's Tucker Hill for three, no good. Rebound offensively for the Braves. Now back to Tucker Hill, he'll try another three. Yes, sir! Tucker Hill with 44 points, and yeah, he's back in the game. Just hope he doesn't get injured with four minutes and change to go in a blowout, but Tucker Hill's got 44, and he's trying for a 50-point game. Shot up, no good for Norman. Put back, no good as well for Bryant. Rebound to Tyreek Duckett for Tishomingo County. Now Hill gets the pass. He'll pull for three, no good, all the way around the rim and out. Rebound to Tyler Bryant for Hickory Flat. Today's game brought to you by John's Garage, Janus Auto Sales, 24-hour towing, ASC certified additions on staff, the number 662-427-829. And as Tyler Bryant becomes the first Hickory Flat player to reach double figures with a left-handed lay-in. He's got 10 now, Braves leading 89-30. Hill from NBA range, no good. Rebound to number 12, that's Patrick Thompson. Now the Rebels trailing 89 to 30 with 325 to go in the ball game. It's a steal. Here's Tucker Hill. You know what he's going to do. He's about to pull for three. No good. Rebound. Offensively, number three, Jake Russell. Now to Hill again, and he's no good. Since he's come back in, I think he's one for five. And uh, time is running out on the 40 or the 50 point effort. And now there it is. He'll exit the game 40 four points and that will certainly end the night for Tucker Hill he came in and got one more three the foul by the way against Jake Russell his first team fourth 249 to go in the ball game today's game brought to you by IU could discount drugs Chris Cornelius and Kurt Butler Lee Griffin their entire staff 662-423-9039 thank you Northeast Mississippi Community College among their outstanding athletic programs their men's basketball team ranked 23rd in the nation visit nemccathletics.com for more information thank you Dr. James Perkins and staff at the IU Animal Clinic 662-423-3470 on Highway 25 South, healthcare grooming and boarding for your pets. Thank you, David Wayne Crum, your Tishman County Tax Assessor. Carly Carmen, Attorney at Law, 1723 West Equipment Street, in Iuka, 662-593-3079. Thanks, Mac Wyman, Tishomingo County Court, and also a big thanks to Pete Cummings, Tishomingo County Chancery Clerk. There's a layup in and good. Russell for 2, 91-30 with two minutes to go, and now another near steal by the Braves. Not, though, uh, is a good job by Tyler Bryant saving the possession for Hickory Flat. Thank you, Spark CPA. Six locations to serve you in Red Bay, Iuka, Muscle Shoals, Florence, Boonville, and Corinth. And now a backcourt violation will turn the basketball over to Tishomingo County with 142 and counting to go in the ballgame. Today's game also brought to you by Boys Hollingsworth, your State Farm agent at 214 East Whitman Street, Nyuka, 662 423 5931. And a reminder to see the pharmacy studio and trust Stanley Page. See if he can save you money at Gatlin's Pharmacy, your Health Mall Pharmacy in downtown Tishomingo, 662 438 6605. Also, MTS is formerly Mississippi Tool Supply with safety apparel, vests, t shirts, safety glasses, and earplugs made and sold in Belmont, 1 800 647 8168. BJ Supermarket, Highway 365 South in Burnsville. Open seven days a week, your hometown store. The price is low 52 weeks in every year. 
Hometown Pizza on Euclid, 621 Battleground Drive. Don't forget this is a care at location only. Give Brittany and the crew a call. They'll get it ready for you, 662-593-3036. Thank you as well, Triple D's Bucket Service, Barney, Brandon, and Dustin Dick. They can handle all your high reach needs, trimming and removing a tree. Also, the rim level stump grinding and cleaning church steeples as well, 662-279-7500. Now on the inside, a shot in and good. Tyler Woodruff with two points. 35 seconds to go, 93-30. The score, Tishomingo County ahead by 63 points. And now Woodruff a near steal. Back in the hands of Tyler Bryan. He'll drive to the basket. His shot is up, in and good. And we'll count the basket with an and one play. The foul will go against Tyler Woodruff. His first, team fifth. And it will be 34 Bryant's 12 points, chance of an old-fashioned three-point play. And one free throw to go as the clock winds towards zero, even at the free throw line. Seven seconds now, free throw is no good. Rebound to Tyreek Duckett, and that should end the ball game. They'll attempt a half-court shot, it's no good. Final score on senior night. What a win for Tishomingo County. The final score, Tishomingo County 93, Hickory Flat 32. We'll go over your final stats now, brought to you by Burnsville Tire. Ethan Morris, your owner of the home of round tires and square deals at Burnsville Tire. Drivers, look you have a light on them for uh, auto repairs and more since 1988, and you should too. Thank you as well to the IUCA Monument Company. Next to IUCA Discount Drugs, the highest quality at a reasonable price, 662-423. 3203. Here are your final statistics now. We'll go first for your Tishomingo County Braves. And how about uh, the night for Tucker Hill? 44 points for him. A sensational effort. I think the uh, best night I've ever called uh, individually as far as my play by play work. I don't think I've ever called a 40 plus point game, but there it is. Tucker Hill, 44 points. He's the only Brave in double figures the whole night long. Uh, Braxton Pritchard had nine in the first half, and he did not score at all in the second half. So he's second on the team with nine points. Cameron Cummings with eight points. Also, Tavia Stuckett with six. Austin Booker had six as well. Five points for Connor Bonds, four for Tanner Moss, three for Eli Sanderson, and then these uh, four had two points apiece. Tyler Woodruff, Trey Mitchell, Justin Glidewell, and Jake Russell, according to our uh, roster, of course, uh, and here is the final stats for the Rebels of Hickory Flat. 12 points for Tyler Bryant. He's the only double figure scorer for the Rebels. Then five points apiece for the duo of Wesley Green and Lane Gordon. Three points for the duo of Patrick Thompson and Ty McGregor. And then two points for the duo of Jeremiah Thompson and Jonah Baker. A total of 32 on the evening. Uh, that's an amazingly dominant performance for Tishomingo County. Final score, Braves 93, Hickory Flat 32. Well, folks, here's the rest of the schedule for the Braves in the regular season. Again, Thursday night, these are not the final regular season home games. We'll be back here Thursday night. That's February the 7th. As Biggersville comes to town, these are makeup games from back when Biggersville was still in the football playoffs. So Biggersville's here Thursday night. And again, uh, that'll be a start time of uh, 6 o'clock for the Varsity Boys. And then 7.30 for the uh, Varsity Girls at 6 o'clock, Varsity Boys at 7.30, pardon me. And then, of course, on Friday night, both teams traveling over to Morville. That'll be the regular season finales, Tishomingo County at Morville on Friday nights. And that'll be the end of the regular season, postseason beginning here in this gym with the Division 1-4A basketball tournament next Tuesday, February the 12th. Lady Braves playing Corinth at 7 p.m. Braves playing Centertobia at 8.30 p.m. and that's the upcoming schedule for certain three games to go for both teams and of course if you win next Tuesday not only are you guaranteed two more games in the division tournament but you are guaranteed a spot in the MHSAA Class 4A state playoffs that begin the following week. Well what a night an exciting girls game the final score to Shemingo County winning 63-56 on the backs of 16 points from Campbell Holly is Hickory Flat. They had a great second half, uh, but the Lady Braves able to secure a big win, a, a marquee win over a very tough Hickory Flat girls squad. And then the guys game just as exciting, keeping up with Tucker Hill. He had 21 at halftime, ends up with 44 points in the ball game. A phenomenal effort for Tucker Hill as the Braves win by 61 points. Thank you, Denise Ivey, back in Control Central. Thank you, Randall Lindsay. Always a pleasure working 
uh, with my partner in crime, Mr. Randall Lindsay. We've got a lot of great basketball ahead for you, folks. I promise you that. Even though the regular season is winding down, our coverage just keeps getting stronger and stronger. We'll be here for you for postseason basketball. And, of course, we'll stay with you through the end of the regular season this Friday. So for Denise Ivy back in Control Central and for Randall Lindsay, I'm Blake Long saying so long from the campus of Tishomingo County High School. Here's your final scores one more time in girls' action. Tishomingo County's Lady Braves 63, the Hickory Flat Lady Rebels 56. And then for the guys game, the final score, Tishomingo County 93, Hickory Flat 32. Let's say so long and good evening and God bless. This is Tishomingo County Basketball on WRMG TV 12, TV 97.